Alrighty, friends. So, uh, as some of you guys know, I got to play the Paleo Pines demo back during Steam Next Fest. And I have never enjoyed a demo more than I enjoyed the Paleo Pines demo. I put about 25 hours into it over the course of two different playthroughs. Um, as you can see right here, I did uh, me and I did one as our mod and, and friend Ace in the community. <laughs> but since the full release of the game is here now, we've got early access to it today. I want to start up a brand new playthrough just to kind of see how the developers in, intend it to be from the get-go. So without further ado, let's start it up. New game. <sighs> the adventure begins. Welcome to Paleo Pines, a peaceful island full of dinosaurs. Let's create your character. You can buy new clothes later, so relax and pick something you like. Sounds good. So I'm not sure if anything's changed uh, with the character creation in terms of how it was uh, in the in the demo. I do remember when I started up the demo, I was like concerned at first. I was like, oh man, they don't have like a whole lot of skin tones. Um, you know, they were just kind of like, I think I just saw like this page initially. And I was like, wow, there are a lot of like really yellowy undertones. And then uh, I discovered there's like an arrow behind my webcam and <laughs> there there are more skin tones over here, which is good because I am like a, I, I feel like on camera, I look more like an orangey uh, skin tone, but like I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm probably like more in line with, yeah, that probably. I feel like that's just like probably too dark for me. Cause again, like in person, yeah, I, I feel like <laughs> there, that that's a little more accurate to, uh, to how mama's looking. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. For my eyes, uh, they're mostly more of a blue, a little bit of a green, but I don't think we have a heterochromia option in this game. I'm probably just going to go with, um, Maybe that one there. I think we'll do that. For the hair Zs, um, I just love all the red hair options. Thank you, game. I think I'm probably going to go maybe maybe with that one. Let me put my hair down and I'll see. That one's cute. That little yawn was precious. <laughs> Got the ponytail some braids. Paul? Yes was able to re-up for six months. Paul with the 22, wait, for, wait, what about six months? You're already subscribing for 22 months. Thank you. Thank you so much, friend. Paul, I don't know if you're here and at all earlier, but I opened up the, um, the two packages, uh, two more packages from you that you sent me from, from Throne. I opened up the candle that you sent me and the beautiful um, mug that you sent me too. Thank you, thank you so much again for those, friend. I appreciate you. How are you doing? I hope you're having a nice day. Did you like them? I love them. Thank you, thank you so much again for thinking of me. That was such a nice surprise. I feel like this one probably would be most in line with my, my hair. I think that's what I chose like in the demo, but I think I might choose it again. I think so. I think I'm gonna go with that one. I think so. As for closies, hmm. Let's do something cute. I love blues and greens. Although that sweater there is really cute too. I think we can always change our clothes afterward. They said we can purchase more clothes and stuff like that. Uh show me the pants. I do love this one. I might just end up looking how I did in the demo. <laughs> I, I think I might. Um, although that's really cute too. Oh, decisions. I think she's going to look like this. I think that's me. Okay. All right. Jumping in. What is your name? Uh, Wade Lady, but just Wade is fine. Thank you. 
I'm assuming maybe it pulled it from Steam, possibly, because I don't think at all I've entered Wade Lady on here, so. Here we go, jumping in. This is new. I don't remember this when we played the demo. It's Lucky being bored and taking a bath. <laughs> Look at how cute Lucky is. Oh my gosh. And sleeping over by the, what were they called? Moonstones, something like that. By the fire. This is so precious. Oh my gosh, look at how big Lucky's gotten. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, oh, how they grow up so fast. Look at the postcard. Yeah, we've kind of outgrown our previous place, so time to move along to a new adventure. Here we are. I'm so glad that they added in that little like cutscene beforehand to see Lucky growing up. That's so precious. We're here, Paleo Pines. Oh, Lucky, it's exactly how I imagined it. Well, maybe not exactly. I mean, it's a little rundown. You're right, we'll definitely make it work. This is our new home. She's a little messy, but we got time to clean it up. Hold down, right click to dismount. Okie dokies, here we are. Woo, today was long, but we made it. Well done, Lucky. I wonder how long they had to travel, bless their hearts. Let's give Lucky some pets. I think Lucky uh, deserves it. She's a good girl. Here, let me grab you a treat. You must be hungry. I for inventory and I'm already covering something up so I might switch to other side we'll see there's a carrot for you lucky I like how we kneel down to give it to lucky and <laughs> so precious <laughs> oh oh sorry girl that was the last one she's like food give me more she's basically my dog Finnegan <laughs> Well, I didn't eat them all. She's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> so it looks like we've already got a tent for her over there. Oh man, look at our new home. Isn't this so cozy? Just love it, love it. What have you found, Lucky? Oh, it looks cozy, just like your old sleeping patch. Look, there's even a dreamstone. That's what it was, dreamstone. What did I say, moonstone? I was close. Speaking of sleeping patches, time for me to go find my own. Good night, Lucky. So I think I tried this in the, um, yeah, in the, the demo. I was wondering if like I could like hop on Lucky and like do some cleaning up before we went to bed, but sadly it won't let you since we're kind of like in a, a bit of a tutorial right now. I think we do have to like get her to like clear up this part, but I don't think it'll let me do any after that. Uh oh, something's fallen in front of the ladder. Maybe Lucky can help. All right, back to Lucky we go. I like the little run, it's so cute. <laughs> Sorry, Lucky, I know you're tired, but I need your help so I can sleep too. It'll be quick, I promise. Yeah, nothing's quick with me. Approach Lucky and hold hold down left click to mount. I was like, I'm doing something wrong here. All right, over to the house we go. Yeah, she doesn't want to do anything right now. You're right, rest now, explore tomorrow. So, but we can clear out this so we can at least sleep. Just thought I'd try. Let's get a little bit ahead of the game. Told you it would be quick. And we'll take you back to your precious little tent over here. And a boop. Good night, Lucky, for real this time. She's like, I'm, I'm backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. <laughs> and let's get some sleeps. Go to sleep. I just love the sleeping screen. It's so cute. Lucky's the greatest. Ooh. Ooh. 
who actually yawned there while watching this. Morning, Lucky. Here is our precious girl. Now, about breakfast. Well, hello. Aren't you an unexpected... Oh, it went so quickly, I didn't get to read it all. We're an unexpected something. <laughs> See, Owen, sometimes you just gotta follow the tracks and see where they take you. Oh, my gums and tongues. Mary, are you seeing this? I see it, but I swear my blinkers are messing with me. Is that a real Parasaurolophysis? Hopefully I said that right. Uh, indeed she is. Her name's Lucky. What a beauty she is. See, I told you it was worth the rush. When I first spotted the tracks, I was so tempted to race after them, but... No, I said to myself, Mary, you can't chase these without Owen, even if it takes him an hour to gather up all his things. I I am Owen. Who, who else here is also Owen? <laughs> uh, it wasn't an hour. No, you're right. More like two. Preparedness is important. Anyway... It's a pleasure to meet you, and your parasaurol offices. You know, we haven't seen one since... Actually, we've never seen one. Never? Uh-oh. I hope you didn't come to Paleo Pines looking for herds of parasaurol offices galloping through the hills. Lucky's like, I don't want to be alone. Now, now, hold on. They're definitely around, right? At least, we think they are. Mary, you seen tracks? Well, sure, but that's all I've ever seen. They show up from time to time, so they must be around here somewhere. Imagine a real Parasaurol office living right here in Viridian Valley. Wait, you are planning on moving in, aren't you? Yes, double yes, a thousand times yes. Yeehaw, new neighbors. Owen, you bring anything with you that could stand for an impromptu housewarming gift? Oh, um, well, I only had time to pack for what I thought was a spur-of-the-moment field study. So, like, three of everything and enough clothes for a month? Ah, I happen to have just the thing. Really, Owen? One of your journals? Yes, just so happens I brought two blank ones in case we discovered something remarkable. And we did. Trust me, if you're starting a ranch, there's a lot you'll need to remember. Write it all down and you'll never forget. Actually, that makes sense. Here, I've got something for you too. Pocket full of herbivore food? Yeah, it's all I brought. Besides, that's a hungry looking parasaurol office and you can't exactly eat a journal. You'd be surprised. <laughs> that's some of the best herbivore food that, sell that shells can buy, courtesy of Corlins, Randoms, and Abundance. So yeah, the currency in this game is shells. If you're looking for more than that, or anything else, Pebble Plaza should be your next destination. It's not far, and it's got everything. Hey, make sure you meet Marlo. He'll get you anything you need to fix up the pen and the rest of your ranch. So I don't think this game has like, um, like character romancing. You can't, you can't like, uh, like date the characters. But I do remember in the demo, Marlo, he was, um, quite the juicy fellow, so I'm excited to meet Marlo again. Owen, rude. What? Look at it. It's a mess. We'd better go. Sorry about Owen. What? What did I say? Hope to see you around sometime, and good luck with moving in. Yes, good luck. And trust me, that journal will be your new best friend. Her second best friend. Bye now. Lucky's like, hold up. <laughs> I didn't agree to this. <laughs> I have the best friend role. <laughs> oh, I was about to say there's already a dinosaur on my lot. No, it, it's one of theirs. All right, here we are. Quest started. Have a look through the journal by pressing J. So on here we can see the time of day, uh, the calendar here, the season, and the weather too. And it also tells us which dinosaurs need attention that we've adopted. So back in the demo, it would not let you get past day 14 in the game. So we will get to experience Mary's birthday again, but there's something that happens on the 19th if you look there on the bottom left. It has like an apple icon next to it. 
So I'm excited to be able to experience that for the first time now. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Also in this journal, we have our dinosaur tab that gives us all the information on our precious dinos. Uh, all we have now is Lucky, Precious Bean, and we have our quest here, which include put some food in Lucky's trowel, visit Pebble Plaza, buy herbivore food from Corlin, and talk with Marlo. We also need to find the Parasaurol offices and ask Owen about ask Owen about the Parasaurol offices. There are also four more characters that we need to meet too, so all in good time. And here we have a, a big look at the calendar. Oh, will it tell me? Oh, so on the 19th, it's a treat, 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 triassia picnic? I don't know if I said that right. And then next month we have a sh 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 a sh shenanigan. <laughs> Just one shenanigan, not multiple. <laughs> Mm. Also, hey, Megan, nice to see you. I hope you're having a really great day. Mm. Uh, tri- tr ooh. Tri- tri- triassia. Okay, all right, just wanted to make sure that I was uh, pronouncing it right. The first time that we played the demo, I think I pronounced it more like trias triasia, and I'm like, no, that's probably not right. <laughs> So we need to approach Lucky's food trowel. I was like, where is it? Right over here with Lucky, who would have thunk it? And we're gonna put that five food in there that Mary provided for us. There you go, Lucky. I hope you enjoy your noms. That's updated, settling in. So let's take a look at that one more time. So the other things that we need to do are go to Pebble Plaza, buy some more herbivore food, and talk with Marlo. What I'm kind of tempted to do before I go is hop on Lucky here and ooh, uh, first give Lucky some love for the day. Give Lucky some cuddles. And I was also kind of tempted to do some clearing out here on my lot because she is looking real messy right now. Very messy. So with Lucky, I think it tells you in the journal what each dinosaur's like ability is, I think. Maybe, possibly. Oh, and here's our friendship tab over here. So we've met Mary. And you can like kind of build relationships with them. So that's cool. Her dinosaur companion is Paprika, who we saw before they left. And then, oh wait, no, that was the big dinosaur. Bongo was Owen's dinosaur that we saw, the blue and white one. Um, I was thinking it told you what their abilities were, but I think that might be like another tab once we like start finding more dinos, possibly, possibly so. But they might have changed it since demo too. All right, I'm clearing out some of this stuff. Lucky has 40 stamina. Oh, but we just leveled Lucky up. So got a little bit more stamina now. Gotta clean up this place, it's a pigsty. Uh, and just leveled up to three, nice. Got a little bit more. Feels good, man, feels good. Don't think we're gonna be able to get to level four with Lucky today, but that that would be kind of OP. <laughs> All right, we cleared out some stuff there. So let's now head into town and see who all we can meet. I'm excited. Meridian Valley discovered. Look how cozy it is. Oh, and the dinosaurs. Oh. Oh. This game's so beautiful. I just love the art style and the color schemes, all the pastels and stuff. It's just so happy. Look at all these dinosaurs that we can potentially uh, adopt. Oh, man. I'm also starting to see a bunch of stuff that I can forage. The loot goblin in me is going a little wild right now. So whenever we find a new resource, you can make notes by equipping your journal and holding that uh, left click. So this and then this cranberries. Nice. I will try to take you possibly, maybe, maybe I need to put that away first. There we go. Cranberries got a couple of them. Cool beans, cool beans. 
Let's uh, hop on Lucky again and see what else we can find. Anything over here in this corner? Does look like there are some more cranberries over here. Yes, this music. I hope the music is a good level right now. Ooh, G and some pizza. Nice. Have to let me know what kind of pizza you're grabbing. Here we have some clover. I think in the demo I named one of my dinosaurs clover. I think clover was maybe like a gallimimus. Possibly. Possibly so. Take that cranberry. Take these cranberries. I can't like go down on that rock, can I? No, I cannot. All right, just wanted to try. Hop back on you. And, hmm. Ooh, hey, there's another, another, I was about to call it moonstone again. It's not a moonstone, it's a dreamstone. Can I pick this up right now? Large dreamstone, ooh. I was able to pick it up, heck yeah, sweet. I didn't know if I needed like a specific kind of dinosaur for that, couldn't remember. All right, awesome. So we found another dreamstone, so that means we'll be able to adopt another dinosaur soon, soon TM. I'm very excited. Hey, Dr. Claw, how are you? I hope you're having a great day, welcome in. And Olia, welcome in too. I hope that you're having such a nice day. Look at these precious little dinosaurs here. I love them. <laughs> Hi, little guys. <laughs> All right, before uh, we proceed toward town, I'm gonna look around a little bit more and see what else I can collect. I might just stay off of Lucky for a little bit because I keep like getting on and off her as I find stuff. I just want all the things. I remember you got most of all the dinos you could get in the demo. In that second playthrough we did, I, I definitely did. I like kind of learned from my first one. Hi. Hi Hope Java. you had fun on your time off Wade Wadey hug. Java, thank you so much. It was definitely uh, an unexpected uh, time off. Some, you know, things did not go really according to our plans, but it's all good. It's all good. Thanks for asking Java. I missed hanging out with you. How are you doing? I hope you're great. So we just found this mysterious fragment. I thought. Hi. Hi, Empires. Thanks so much for the two month resub. Using your Prime Gaming too, I really appreciate it. Welcome back to our sub family. How are you? I hope you're having a great day too. So we just found a mysterious fragment there um, and another clover over here. I remember finding some of the mysterious fragments and stuff back in the demo, but I don't think I ever like really discovered a uh, you know, what they're for and how to use them. So now that full game is here, I'm excited to uncover that mystery. Hello. Coming in hot. Watch out, Granny. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Come over and say hello. Ah, are you the wee beaky who just moved into the old ranch? Welcome to Paleo Pines. Finally, that place needs a good weeding, like a where Werehosaurus needs watermelons. My name's Agami, but everyone around here just calls me Granny. You must be looking for Pebble Plaza. Come on, let old Granny introduce you to the neighborhood. Oh, if you don't mind, leave your steed out here. Too many whatnots and whiplets inside to have eager dino tails swinging about. Great galloping galleys? Is that a Parasaurolophus? I haven't seen one of them in the valley since I was knee-high to an Oviraptor. Huh, what am I saying? I'm still knee-high to an Oviraptor, but I make up for it with charm and hair. You go, girl. <laughs> anyway, yes, Steed's got to stay out here, even if she is a Parasaurolophus. Wow. Sorry, Lucky. We'll be right back, ma'am. I won't be long. Don't wander off. Right this way, after me. Don't mind if I do. I was, like, getting stuck on Lucky for a second there. Look how just cozy it is. I love it. All the pebbles too. Welcome to Pebble Plaza. Hmm, I wonder why it was called that. If we don't got it, you don't need it. Actually, it's more like if we don't got it, you're out of luck. <laughs> At least until the path to Dabblewood is open again. But that's a problem for another day. We've got enough, and that's enough. 
Pebble Plaza is a place for gathering and trade. If you've got crops, seeds, bits of wood and stone, someone here will trade for it. Ooh, here's Marlo. Plus, you can trade anything for shells here. We use these for sort of a common currency. Go on, here's a few from me, in case you see something you like. Thanks, Granny. Don't spend it all in one place. No promises. Here, let me give you a quick tour. That's my stall over there. I've got seeds to grow just about anything from pumpkins to pineapples. Well, usually anyway. These days it's more like potatoes to potatoes. Slim pickings these days, I'm afraid. Did I mention the path to Dabblewood is blocked? I'm sure I did. So in regards to the demo, there were actually like a couple ways that like the game would stop you from playing more of the demo, if that makes any sense. One of the ways was by getting to day 14 in the game. And after that, it's like, okay, that's all for the Paleo Pines demo. We'll see you for the full game type deal. And that's how I finished my first playthrough of it. So that was like really like sad um, because there were like some things that I still hadn't done in the demo that I could do if I hadn't met that 14 day threshold. So that's why we did a second playthrough. And with that, I did most everything that you could do um, before I hit the, the 14 days. And the other way that you could also finish it was by getting to the point where you like unlocked Applewood, but you didn't actually get to go there. So yeah, I'll be really excited to do so in this playthrough now that the full game's out or it's coming out. Did I mention the path to Dabblewood is blocked? I'm sure I did. Top of the hill, you'll usually find Pippin. Not today though, it's baking day. Pippin makes Poppins. Pippin's really sweet. And Poppins are, er, well, I'll let you decide for yourself. Tell you what, you come back tomorrow and meet them. They'll sort out, they'll sort you out with a tasty snack. Well, er, a snack. Right, see that lad behind me? That's Cortland. If you're after anything, Corlin's the best place to start. He's got anything from flowers to fibrous fib, fib dibbers. <laughs> I like fib dibbers. He's not much of a chatterbox, but he's well stocked and cheerful enough. And over to my right is Marlo. Marlo, come say hello. Did it just get a little warm here in Viridian Valley? My goodness. Marlo, we just moved into the old ranch in the valley. I've heard. Lovely spots. Feel free to come there anytime. Pleasure to meet you. Marlo's our woodsman. Takes care of the trees around here. Not only that, give the man a stick or a log and he can build pretty much anything with it. Pride of the pines, we call him. Nobody calls me that, but I'll admit I'm pretty good with my, with my hands. Val, thank you for that hydration. I was feeling a little thirsty. If there's something you need, I'll do what I can, but there's only so much I can do without my proper workshop tools. Speaking of which, any word, any word on the path to Dapplewood, Granny? Haven't checked myself, but I reckon we'd hear about it if anything changed. Well, anyway, lovely to meet you, Wade. Lovely to meet you too. Hey, uh, since you're fixing up that old branch, I reckon these could come in handy. Happy housewarming to you. From strong roots come ripe fruits. Oh, he gave me a bunch of tools. Thank you, Marlo. Well, Marlo, just when I think you couldn't be any nicer, you go and outdo yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ah. Told you Marlo was a decent chap. Those will come in handy, I'm sure. As soon as I've got time, I'll swing by your ranch and show you how to use them. But for now, I'd best be hopping along. Stop by my stall and I might have something for you. Mmm, hydro homies, what? <laughs> oh, the, the loading screens are so quick, it's hard to read the tips, right? And that like might change depending on like what you play this game on, because when the full release happens for, for everybody to the public on the 26th, uh, they are coming out on different consoles and stuff, so it might might potentially take longer on other things, but it's hard to say, we'll see. So Granny said to come say hi to her, so I'm going to do that first. Here, here's, here's me here. Let me give you something to welcome you to Viridian Valley. Just some carrot seeds, not much, but better than a tooth in the tail. 
Can't wait for someone to reopen my way home, though. My garden must be in a terrible state. See anything else that interests you? Let's chat with her first. So I, I don't know if we get like friendship points for talking with them each day, but if that's the case, I'd like to do it. I think I put my back out trying to lift that stone blocking the path home. And Granny, on top of carrots, she also sells potato seeds and spring onion seeds. I really, oh, but I have three onion seeds already. I might have gotten those from cleaning up with Lucky, possibly, possibly so. I'd like to have some potato seeds too. Waity sip, waity love. Hi, Panda. Thank you so much for the two month resub. I really appreciate you. Welcome back to the sub family. Guys, can we get some hype and chat for our friend Panda? How are you doing? I hope that you're having a really good Tuesday. Welcome in. I'd like to plant some potatoes too, but I think we need to purchase something from Corlin for our quest, like some herbivore food. So let me, let me, you know, do that and see how much money we have left over probably first. Hello, Marlo. Hey there, Wade. Nice to see you again. Hope you're settling in well. Anything I can do for you? We'll chat with him first. One day at a time. Well, that was short and sweet. <laughs> From Marlo's shop, we can purchase more fencing, a gate, and another trowel for when we get more dinosaurs. And then there is also a custom order option that we can do here too. Can you... Can you order dream stones from him? This I don't think you could do in the demo. And it's actually a lot cheaper than I was thinking it was going to be. 250 for a small one. I, I was thinking it was going to be a lot more. Joe, thank you for ooh, 11 months. One month away from a whole year. Has it been that long? Goodness gracious. Joe, welcome back to the sub family. Thanks for using your prime gaming on me. How are you? I hope that you're having a great day. So yeah, apparently you can make dream stones in the game now. Just looking through here. I'm not sure, you know, some of this I, I know I've seen in the demo, but they might have had it in some other new stuff too. Oh, that's really cute. That little planter there and the mushroom lamp on the table. Oh my gosh, I want all the mushroom things. That is gorgeous, that mushroomy log. Yeah, I want all of these things. Thank you very much, appreciate you. <laughs> Always a pleasure. And over here to Corlin we go. Wade, right? I'm Corlin. Pleasure to meet you. Well, how about it? Buy, sell? What's your fancy? Uh, chatting's my fancy first. If it's not for sale at Corlin's Randoms and Abundance, you don't need it. So Corlin has herbivore food, carnivorous food, a saddle, a flour, rice, sugar, pears, potatoes, carrots, poinsettias, Hydrangeas and uh, mature heather bush. These I don't know if he sold in the demo. I don't. I don't remember them at least. Flowering bush native to Viridian Valley. The flowering bush native to Viridian Valley. The older, more sensible version of the heather bush. I wonder if these are just like cosmetic things for our lot. Or if we can actually harvest something from them. Hmm, interesting. Okay, um, so I need to purchase an herbivore food. I'll probably just do, should I just do one for now? Should I get, I'll just, I'll just do one for now. Cause I think that took care of our quest at least. Bye for now. Let's take a look at our journal and see. So yeah, we've got two more tabs in here now, guys. We have our collections tab. So we unlocked Pebble Bridge because I scanned that earlier. Oh, and the mysterious statue fragment. Was this collections tab a thing in the demo? I don't know if I'm remembering that either. But wow, look at all of these things that we can we can uh, check out. Oh, so it also says here one out of 10 for the mysterious fragments. Interesting. I wonder what happens when you put them all together. And then these are the things that we've uncovered, the clover and the cranberry. And it also gives you some notes on them too. 
So the clover is juicy and earthy flavored. Here, I guess that means you just pick it up with your hand. Foraging hints, you'll find them around the valley if you're lucky. The cranberries are juicy and fragrant. You, you can plant them with a shovel? I don't think you could do that in the demo. Fertilize once per year. Interesting. Takes nine days to mature. Berries can be harvested only during one, only during one season. Well, what, what season? Or, or is it any? There's like multiple pages here. Jurassos. Your plant journal is empty for now. If you explore the environment, you'll be sure to run into some plants. Once you encounter, once you encounter more plants, your plant journal will fill up. Did I miss any pages here? I just happened to see that you could like tab over in these. Credumness? No idea what any of this is. <laughs> I guess those are the seasons. So are there like three seasons in this game? That's interesting. Okay. All right. So, uh, I got distracted. Let me look at our quest tab. So I did all of those things. It looks like I just really need to return to the ranch. <clears throat> I'm very tempted to, to buy some potatoes. Ooh, and also look at this board here. So the town board, it looks like we have some quests that we can pick up here. Uh, Owen is requesting four fiber. He'll give us some money. Um, excuse me, NPC. That's completely pushing me out of the way. Um, is this plaza not big enough for you? <laughs> I just moved here and people are already starting to pick fights. Goodness gracious. Um, four fiber needed. Did I pick up any fiber when we were cleaning up with Lucky? I did, I picked up five fiber. All right, I guess I could do that. Let me make sure that nobody else is requesting fiber though. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm gonna accept this. Has anyone seen my lost hat? I think I last had it around Bongo's pen. Was Bongo Mary's dinosaur? No, it was Owen's. Okay, all right. So we'll accept you too. Deliver a lucky trinket. Can someone deliver a lucky trinket to Marlo for me, please? I borrowed it last week and I need to return it. I'm going... I feel like I should maybe hold off on picking up this one because this is from Pippin and we haven't met her yet but I think she'll be in town tomorrow, I think is what Mary said. So I, I guess I could like preemptively pick it up. I don't think there's like a time limit on these. At least it's not showing it. Goodness gracious, these NPCs. <laughs> uh, stone, stone, and wood. Let me look in my inventory for those. I do have enough wood but I only have one stone, so I'll probably hold off on picking that up for now, too. Oh, oh I feel just so conflicted. I, I mean, because like, I, I will, I will have enough. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm... It's been done. It has been decided. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so... Any, I would like to buy some potatoes. How many potatoes do I want to get? That's a spirit. Take all the quests. Like if it was something, because I know in the demo, a lot of times it would prompt you to take quests for characters that like you never even met in the demo. But luckily, I, I didn't see anything like that there. Um, 
like it did prompt me to give a, a, a take a quest from Pippin who I haven't met yet but that'll again that'll be tomorrow so you know it's it's nothing that's going to be super far out I think I can complete all of those pretty soon let's take at least three of those Or should I buy more? I can't afford that many. Um, <sighs> okay, all right. I tried to kind of like be even with my purchasing of seeds as much as I could there. And it looks like Marlo has something to say to us. Marlo, how can I help you, sir? What can I do for you on this fine day? It is what I can do for you, sir. Take this, you've earned it. Oh, it was the wood, that's right. I was like, what did I give him? I think he just gave me some more seeds too. Oh no, it wasn't seeds, it was straight up carrots, heck yeah! Which is good, because I think, I think, Lucky likes carrots. Sarah, thanks so much for thanking our mods, I appreciate it. Is Finn a mod? If so, this is for him. <laughs> I need to add some, some, uh, Finn channel point redeems at some point. <laughs> Like we had a, a treat one at, uh, at, at a point, but I need to I need to get like a proper like treat um, container in here. That would be helpful, and then I can add that back in again. Mm. Wait, wait. I haven't been by the old ranch in years, but from what I've heard, it's, well, let's just say it's a bit of a fixer-upper. Now, I don't mean to boast, but fixer-uppering is kind of my specialty around here. Let me walk you home. Don't mind if I do. We'll see if there's any basic maintenance I can help with. Sound good? Sounds very good. She was excited too. <laughs> 49 potatoes? Yeah, I don't think I had quite enough money for that. <laughs> There's Lucky looking so happy with her new home. She's got like a bunch more room now, it seems like. <laughs> wow, this old place sure brings back memories. I feel a little guilty letting it get to such a state. If only you could have seen what it looked like back in the day. Still, then is, th th then is for then, now is for now. Let's see how beautiful this place can be again. Well, if you're going to start somewhere, best to start small. Can I suggest we begin with Lucky's little patch of paradise? Let me take a closer look here. In the meantime, could you see if you can find some old fence posts lying around? Hopefully I didn't need to go back and purchase anything today because yeah, I spent all my monies. <laughs> Approach a fence post and hold down a right click to pick it up. See another one over here. What other ones can we find? Or were there just two? No, I see some more over there. I also see some little lanterns too. What's up? Oh, don't worry about that one. I'd say it's perfect where it is. Don't tell me how to run my farm, Marlo. I know where stuff is perfect where it is. <laughs> we'll just focus on the fences for now. I'm just getting a little distracted by shiny things, as per usual. Is there any more that I need to pick up? Collect old fence posts. So yeah, now we just talk to Marlo again. That should be enough. Step over here and see if you can take out one of those posts you found. Don't mind if I do. Use your inventory to equip a fence post. I will. Thankfully, I'd like just barely had enough room for it. Why don't we start over here? We're stuck with that boulder, at least for now, but we can work around it. All right, so he wants us to put one here, there, and then one there too. Is there an entrance to get in there? Gorgeous. And now for the finishing touch. Every pen needs a gate. There we go. I was like, I think something's missing here. 
I feel like once we place this gate, it's gonna remove one of the fences. So I don't know if we needed to place like all of those, but oh, and he wants it right there. All right. Is that is that right? Oh yeah, I need to like actually press the button. That'd be helpful. <laughs> And there we go. Awesome. Well, that, my friend, is a habitable pen and a job well done. Would, would your lovely steed care to take it for a spin? If Lucky's happy, then I'd say we should be too. By the way, there is nothing that says this pen needs to stay right here. Feel free to... to ooh. Feel free to up sticks and drop it down anywhere on the property. Easier to move the pen than the boulder. After all, it... If we could move boulders, I'd be home by now. Ugh. Well, I'd best be off. But give me a shout if you ever need a hand. Bye, Wade. Bye, Lucky. Bye, Marlo. Come by anytime, sir. <laughs> Quest complete. Settling in. Lucky, do you like your new pen? Isn't it precious? Yes, it is. I'm glad that you like it. All right. So, we have... A bunch of seeds that I want to plant. We also have a quest to investigate the path to Dapplewood. We need to return to Owen. If we can find some stone for those couple quests, that would be awesome. And then we also need to look around Bongo's pen. Basically, we have a lot to do. <laughs> so much to do, so much to see. First, I'm going to oh, uh, drop off some things here in best fiber needed. Who was it that needed fiber? Maybe turn in the wood quest. Um, I'll put some more herbivore food in Lucky's pen. And I think I'll keep these things on me, possibly. Maybe I'll take the carrots out for Lucky, too. All right, I'm going to move some stuff around here. And boop, boop, boop. That's looking a little bit better, a little bit better. So we, um, I think we'll start with some planting. And I think since we've got like a bunch of uh, free space over here, I'm going to do some planting in this spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the pond and I'm going to maybe just move it over here for now. Um, hang on. What I'll do first is, isn't there a way to like just go into the top down mode without like picking something up? I was thinking there was. But maybe not. I hope that storage unit will still have the stuff inside of it. <laughs> hope I didn't lose that. That'd be unfortunate. I'm gonna put that... Oh, I was like, I don't think it was that far away from the, the fence. I think it's turned... It's still pretty far away from the fence, but it's turned around now, so yeah, that's better. Then I will go into my inventory and let's place you right here. Here we go. Awesome. So now for a garden, how many seeds do I have? So I have 22 seeds, it looks like. It's a lot of gardening for little old me, my minimal amount of stamina. <laughs> well, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. All right, so let's fill this. Might need to move that, that, uh, chest after all. <clears throat> hey, TPO, nice to see you. How's it going? I hope that you're having a lovely day. Welcome, welcome in. Let's go, let's go to there at least. How many spots was that? One, two, three. All right, so seven. Oh, so seven by three. That'll give us 21. I need, I need one more. This is going to be so painful on my OCD. <laughs> oh girl, don't get too tired out on the stamina. 
I haven't I haven't even planted anything yet. And we've got a water stuff on top of that too. Ooh, ooh. Maybe maybe I can't plant everything today. If I ate a carrot, would it give me some more stamina? I don't want to. I don't want to pass out. Obviously. <laughs> um. Hmm. So, throwing down the seeds is not taking any stamina, but I have a feeling that watering is going to. That's nine there. Um, let's do like at least some potato seeds. That'll bring us to 12. And I think I'll, I think I'll have enough stamina for like two more so I'll do I'll do a couple more carrots I wish I could plant them all but I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watering here we go oh it would actually help if I had water in the watering can <laughs> Isn't Granny cute? I love Agami so much. And hey, Britt, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Is that... Oh, there we go. So yeah, that is using up a stamina. So I don't know if... I mean, maybe I could get my character down to zero. So maybe I could, like... No. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could plant one more. Maybe I could get away with that. But I just don't know if she'll pass out at zero. This may have been something I tested in the demo, but I just, I don't remember. Here's what I'll do. I will finish watering these three. I'll, I'll save. I think I have to go to the house to save, possibly. She's already like, oh wait, we're already at zero. Did I completely miscount that? Um, I thought I would have one left over. No, I mean, okay, all right. I must have planted exactly that. Okay, all right, so we didn't pass out. Feels good, man. <laughs> but I'm not going to use any more. <laughs> Let's put that away. And we've still got some stuff that we need to do today. So let's go over here to Lucky first. Give her some food. Hi, Lucky. Nice to see you again. This is for you, ma'am. And let me look in my journal once more. I was wondering if it said on here what their favorite treats are. So that's a question mark for Lucky. And technically, like, in the cutscene, you know, we gave her a carrot. But I don't know if that actually counted as trying to give her a carrot. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Lucky, would you like this? Maybe? You, do you like the carrots? Well, all right. Well, she ate it. Did not update anything in our journal. No, it did not. All right, so carrots, not not her favorite then. Maybe I should, I see there's like a note thing here. Um, I'm gonna write not, so I can kind of keep track of what I've tried giving her. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I would like to try to figure that out. I do also have some like some cranberries that I could try. Oh, and I wanted to try planting the cranberries too, but yeah, I don't have enough stamina for that. So that's gonna have to wait. Should I try giving her one? I think I'm gonna try giving her one. Did that update anything? All right, not cranberry either. So let me add that to the list as well. <laughs> We're narrowing it down, slowly but surely, my friends. All right, I'm going to hop on Lucky, and we're gonna go over here to my storage chest before we head out to do a little bit more exploring and some quest partaking. All right, so those seeds can go in there. Those can go in there as well, and I think we'll hang on to everything else. All right, so um, we explored like over here a good bit before, but what I did not do is kind of go over this way. So I'm gonna go over here, be a little bit of a loot goblin and see what else we can come across. Up this hill and see if there's anything that we can find. So I remember seeing these like rocky spots in the demo, but I don't think I ever actually did anything with those rocky spots. You know what else I just thought about too? I don't know if we had, did we have a shovel in the, in the demo? Could I, could I use my shovel here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. All right. I just wanted to try it. Just wanted to try it. So we got some dandelion. We just discovered that for the first time. Feels good, man. Feels good. Ooh, and, and, and a clay fragment. Nice, nice. I wonder if it's going to be like 10 of those two. <clears throat> it's interesting. I didn't have to like pick that up separately. I just like wrote it down in the journal and it like immediately picked it up. Look over there. Look at all those dinosaurs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So... The, uh, the publisher said with the early access that uh, we have right now, which is a two week early access before like the it goes public to everybody in two weeks, we can play up until like a desert point of the game. And we'll know it's the desert because like the, like the, the map will change. And I remember in the demo, we, we could go in, over into that area. I don't think there's any map changing. So I, I don't think that is the desert. I think that's more of like a, like a canyon type place, possibly. <laughs> so I'll be interested to see what this, this desert is, is all about. I'm gonna see if there's anything else over here hiding that we could pick up. I feel like by the time we get home, my inventory slots are going to be so full. <laughs> All right, I'm not seeing anything else here for now, I don't think. I also do wonder about what those like workshop table things are going to be too, because that was something we also never did in, in demo. And this is blocked off for now. I need, I probably need a, a big old dinosaur to help me get through there, but that's a problem for another time. Time's a ticking. Just need to look around and see what else we can maybe find. Ooh, I see a tree over here with some fruit on it, mayhaps. <gasps> some pears, possibly. Yeah, let's uh, let's uncover this. Give me all the pears, please. How do how how do <laughs> how do how do I get the pears? <laughs> I don't think I have like an axe, right? This plant is in season. I think they might just be on the ground. Oh, they're on the ground. Yeah, they're on the ground. That was something I did remember from demo. Kind of. <laughs> mm. Hey, sweet potato, nice to see you. Thanks for the welcome back. I appreciate it. How have you been doing, friend? I hope you've been having a good week. Good start to the week. 
<laughs> Thank you, Pan and Pandoodle. Thanks so much again for your resub. That was really kind of you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. <clears throat> uh, Ariacata, uh, Ariacata Canyon over there. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans. Ooh, right now we are near Owen's house where Bongo should be. And I know we had a quest to pick up something here. So let's do that while, while we're at it. Going over this way to find the kleptomaniac. Bongo, there's something in the bush. Is it what I need? It is the lost hat, heck yeah. But there's also, there's also something over here. Another fragment? I think this might be a different kind of fragment, possibly. I don't remember how to get out my journal to do this. Oh, it's another clay fragment. Cool beans, cool beans. Let me take a look in the journal and see how many of those there are. So there are 10 of those as well. Very interesting. Yeah, it'll be so cool to see like what it does, what it unlocks when we find all of them. I'm super excited for that. And uh, in, in regards to the trip, it definitely didn't quite go to plan, but all good. All the dinos, please. <laughs> all the dinos, what? <laughs> Rob, thank you so much for the 31 months. I appreciate you, friend. How are you? I hope that you're having a really nice day. Welcome, welcome in. How uh, how did Tuesday treat you? Hope you've been having a good start to the week. Oh, hello again. Welcome to my house. Please don't mind the mess. I wasn't expecting visitors today. What what mess? Oh, you're too kind. So how's the new house? Have you worked out a plan yet? I can like barely see Owen over there like poking out of the bushes. <laughs> He's kind of hidden right now. <laughs> uh, have you worked out a plan yet? So, uh, kind of. We're getting there. Wonderful. Planning is the first step, I always say, and usually the longest. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe I'll see you at Pebble Plaza later? If I ever finish my to-do list, that is. I think I have some stuff to turn into Owen as well. Oh, or hello. Wade. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm just about finished with a huge entry regarding where his Saurus diets. And if I don't write this down now, there we go. Thank you for waiting. I just couldn't risk losing my train of thoughts. While there's been so much written on the subject of dinosaurs, it's still vitally important that we record as much as we can. I'd love to read your work sometime. Oh, really? Mary and I would love to share all our findings in a book someday. Unfortunately, like most of our projects, I never quite know when to stop writing. Say, just thinking out loud here, but I believe the mystery of the Parasaurolophus might just be a brilliant climax. If reference books had climaxes, that is. Well, I think they do. <laughs> oh, fear not. Lucky surely isn't the only Parasaurolophus out there. Her, even though all evidence points to the contrary. Like, it doesn't though. They found their tracks. Oh dear, never fear. I have just a snack that'll brighten her up. How about, oh, a mango? I know that would brighten me up. Don't think she's ever tried a mango before. Beyond dinosaur diets, I'm afraid I'm all out of data. Perhaps Granny might offer some more information? After all, she's lived here the longest. Like I said, just thinking out loud. You must be busy. I'll let you, I'll let you get on with your day. Do I have anything more that I can turn into him? So there's still one more character that we need to meet. That might be Pippin tomorrow, who Mary said will be at Pebble Plaza. We still need to investigate the path to Dabblewood. Uh, return, return to Owen. Wow, thanks. And ooh, we got 30 shells from that, from the fiber, heck yeah. All right, so that took something off our list. I still need to find some more stone to give to Mary some so Mary had two fine stone quests. What is she doing with all this stone? <laughs> and then I need to return to Agami too. Whom um, I think is, yeah, she's staying up here with Mary for now until she can get back home. Okie dokes, all right. Thank you, Lucky, for going on that little adventure with me. Uh, but we might continue the adventure by going over this way. <laughs> Cause it looks like there's still some stuff to loot. Oh, is it uh, ju ju just, is it Jessamika or Jessamika? I think I've asked this before, so forgive me. I'm trying to remember how to say it. 
Welcome, welcome back. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful stream. We like to raid. Thanks so much for raiding me. That's so thoughtful of you. How was your stream? What were you up to today? I'd love to hear all the details. Welcome in, guys. Anyone who's new. Hi, my name's Wade. We have early access to an upcoming game called Paleo Pines. It's been super cozy already. I played the demo of it months ago, and the full game has been just even more cozy, if that's possible. <laughs> So glad to have you all. Welcome, welcome in. Mm. And uh, mod friends, I'm assuming you're shell there. Thanks so much for doing that shout out for our friends, Jessamika just, just, as well. Is it the first way to say it? I'm trying to remember how I said it the first time. Just, just, j j Jessamika? <laughs> Is that how I said it the first time? <laughs> Mm, oh, and were you playing some Paleo Pines as well? Heck yeah! How is it going so far? Are you continuing your playthrough that you did like in the demo days? Or did you start up a new one? For me, I have started up a new one. I just wanted to start fresh. Especially like with them having added in new stuff and that kind of deal. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be playing it now. We'll be right back, Lucky. I'm going to take some clover, and it looks like we have some more fragments over here to uncover. I can find my journal. Oh, and we have that mango too. Could this be part of a broken stone tablet? Interesting. We have that mango that we can try giving to Lucky. Should we go ahead and do that? I haven't tried giving her a pear either. Let's try the mango first. Trying to uncover Lucky's favorites. I think it would tell me if it's her favorite. All right, so not mango. Let me add that to the list. And I also haven't tried a pear, so I'll try a pear too. Lucky's getting all the snacks today. Also not a pear, okay, all right. <laughs> we tried. Is there anything else that I could potentially feed Lucky right now? I think I could try feeding her a clover or a dandelion. All right, let's just let's just cross those off the list too. All right, would you like a clover, Lucky? I don't know who would just like. Okay, all right, I stand corrected. Uh, apparently, Lucky loves or really likes clovers. Favorite treats, clovers. <laughs> okay, all right. Can they have multiple favorite treats? Or is it just one? Because I notice it says favorite treats, plural. So that would make me think that that they that there could be multiple. Well, that's good to know about the clovers because that's like super duper easy. Cool beans, cool beans. I kind of do want to try the dandelions too though. Is that okay? Can I do that? See if that would be like an additional favorite treat. Oh, oh, I don't think, I don't, I don't think Lucky liked that one. I, yeah, I think that was like a, like a, like a hard dislike. Uh, but yeah, let me add that to the list too. Okay, cool beans. Sorry about that, Lucky. I'm sorry to end it on a bad note there, but I'm glad we got you some some stuff that you did actually like. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> I was thinking there was something over here that we could grab, but no. I started up a new one too. Yeah, same here, same here. Hmm. Oh my gosh, because Lucky Clovers? Oh, Val, that makes so much sense. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I see you developers. That was, that was actually, that was actually kind of clever. <laughs> well, I was wanting to go to, to Agami and turn in that quest before, before bed and before sleep. But, um, it's getting pretty late. We might end up like passing out or something before it, we even get back to them. So we'll see, we'll see. 
doesn't help that I'm getting distracted by more foraging. But hey, we're picking up Clover. This is for the good of Precious Lucky. So we're, you know, it's it's not for nothing. This is fine, totally fine. Don't think I missed anything over there, hopefully not. Here's Owen's plot again, and over here on the right should be the bridge to go to Agami and Mary. Oh, there's just so much to explore. <laughs> I know I can't do it all in one day, but I'm I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> Some cranberry over there that I want as well. All right, but first, Agami. Oh, it looks like Mary has something else to say too. How are you sleeping on your new ranch, kiddo? I gotta say, Mary could invest in some cozier bed sheets. I'm missing my home comforts. The sooner the path to Dapplewood gets cleared, the better. You and Lucky seem like the exploring type. What gave you that idea? You'd love Dapplewood. We're exploring to find Lucky's family. You're looking for parasaurs, eh? Can't say I've ever seen one myself. But my family have lived in the area for generations. Who knows? Might be something lying around the house that could help your search. Can't know for sure until a path is cleared, though. So I, it'll be interesting to see if we can actually explore Dapplewood uh, within, you know, the, the next couple weeks. My hat, thank you. No woeies. And she gave me some some flowers in exchange. Ooh, large valley flowers. Bring the sights and smells of Viridian Valley to your ranch. Oh, I bet those are going to be beautiful. Hi, Mary. Nice to see you. Hey, stranger. Nice to see you again. Golly, I still can't believe it. A real life parasaurial office right around the corner. She's beautiful. What did you say her name was again? Lucky. Lucky? Well, I reckon I'm lucky to have met you. You know, no one's been a Paris. No one's seen a parasaurial office in this neck of the woods in a raptor's age, and I should know. I've been to the tree line of Dapplewood all the way to the edge of Aracotta Canyon. They're not gone. I've seen tracks, scuffs, markings, and other unmentionable evidence. If you catch my drift, <laughs> they're just what's the word? Elusive. But hey, who knows? Maybe Lucky will bring them out of hiding. Until then. I'm just gonna have to give all my love to this one. What's Lucky's favorite food? I, it's, oh, um, I was wondering if Clover was going to be an option on here, but I don't see that. So maybe all of these are favorite foods of, of Lucky's too? Ooh, mushrooms, tomatoes, or beetroot. What do I want to say? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say tomatoes. Tomatoes, I like those too. Kindred spirits, Lucky and me. Here, I don't mind sharing a few. If I spot any parasaurial office tracks around, you'll be the first to know. In the meantime, don't be a stranger. Shall I try feeding the tomato to Lucky too? Apparently we said that tomato is Lucky's favorite. <laughs> Will it actually be Lucky's favorite? It is actually Lucky's favorite, heck yeah. So I wonder if if mushrooms and beetroot would also be. I'm gonna I'm gonna rate on here. Um, possible favorites. Um, mushrooms and beetroot. My notes are getting very full already. <laughs> Okie dokies. All right. Thanks, Mary. I don't think there's anything up here that we can... Well, I was about to say, I don't think there's anything that we can scavenge for. Oh, no, never mind. thought it was like a glowy... Uh, whatchamacallit? Fragment for a second. But we do have some dandelion here that I'll take. Also, hey, DC. Nice to see you. How's Tuesday treating you? Can I go around here? I don't think so. Let's go back this way, maybe. 
can't sneak through there either. Okie dokes. <laughs> I saw some cranberry somewhere. Were they further down? Where where am I right now on the map? Oh, okay. This is not where I was expecting I was. But there's a tiny little dream stone over here. Let's take it. Heck yeah, hopefully nobody will be missing this. Sweet, that means another dino for us soon. I'm so excited to start adopting some dinos. There's another one over there, but I don't know if I can get to that area right now. Keep trying to run, but don't have any stamina to. There's another stone fragment and oh, it just hit midnight. So I have a feeling that, um, I have a feeling that it's going to force me to sleep soon. Just trying to do as much as I can before then. Mysterious statue fragment, interesting. All right, where were those cranberries? Gotta find the cranberries. Were they down here? Yes, here we go. Take you, and take you. Okie dokes, all right. What little more can I explore before we are forced to sleep? Ooh, guys, I can't remember. Does anyone remember from demo? If you are like forced to sleep, if you stay out too late, does it cut back on your stamina for the next day? I hope not, because I would really like to have all the stamina I can get. Sleep? What's sleep? I feel that. <laughs> My character feels that right now. <laughs> mm. Good afternoon, Wade. Hey, Nova, welcome in. How's it going? I hope that you're having a really good day. How's it been treating you? On DC, Tuesday's been a tough day at work, but I'm on my way home now. Only two more weeks till I leave my current place for a newer, nicer job. Oh my gosh, I hope the next couple weeks go by really quickly for you then, DC. I'm super excited for you. And Novak, I'm glad it's going well so far. It's been good here, thanks for asking. I've been like kind of feeling sicky like um for like the last like few days especially. Um just like dealing with like like some um, stomach upset and like some nausea and stuff. But other than that, I'm hanging in there. I don't think there are any cons consequences in not going to sleep. Yeah, I don't remember any right off the bat either. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that's actually the case. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be making it to, to bed tonight. <laughs> I just want to keep exploring. There's just so, so much, so much. Is this wrapping? Oh, this is wrapping back up to to Mary's plot. So I think we can go down here. This I don't think I can do anything with right now. And I do see that other dreamstone on the other side of it. But we can at least research this for now. Wisdom court, super cool. Okay, all right. Let's oh, not do that. Uh, put that away. Hop on Lucky again. And let's go maybe in this direction. Another one of those like mushroom circles there. Just like so dark and my visibility is like so, so like short. So I feel like it would be really easy for me to miss stuff right now. <laughs> Already came up here. That is a big heckin' dreamstone right there. I feel like I would not be able to do anything with that. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can actually do anything with this. So maybe we need a, a big dinosaur to like help us break it or something like that. Something like that. Anything hiding over here in the bushes? I don't think I can even really go in them, so I don't think so. Kind of might be edge of map there. All right, well, let's ooh, uh, examine this tree here. What kind of tree do we have? Mm, this must not be a pear tree. This is, oh, an apple tree. Nice. Sadly, I don't think I see any apples, though. 
Oh, oh, it's about to force me to sleep. I'm trying to put away my journal. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't figure out the button for it. Uh I'd say we made like a good amount of progress and did like a, a fair amount of stuff for our first day though. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Another day, let's go. We're so cute. <laughs> and there's our cute Lucky over there. Lucky, what you doing outside your pen? Oh, what have you found, Lucky? It looks like my old flute. I used to play this all the time for you, didn't I? Well, why not? Let's have a let's have a toodle, shall we? For old time's sake. <laughs> when I hear the word toodle, it does not make me think of like playing a flute. <laughs> Alright, use your inventory to equip the flute. There we go. And then press that to equip it. Now we can play some different notes for Lucky. We can also play longer notes. Beautiful. You like my song, Lucky? Is it good? Look at Lucky and play 111 to get her attention. 222 to ask Lucky to follow you. Three to stay there. And to get her attention again. We do that. And then four to say see you later. What do you think, Lucky? Still got it? Lucky's like, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Maybe I never had it. I'll keep practicing. Oh, hi, Granny. Nice to see you again. Welcome, welcome in. Bark my branches. Did you hear that noise just now? Or am I going flappy? That was, that was my music playing. Oh, that was you? Well, keep practicing. You'll get there one day. <laughs> Granny's so savage. Alrighty, Roo. I woke up itching like an ichthyosaurus to plant some seeds this morning. I also literally woke up itching. Mary's spare bed gives me the scritchies, but it's all. But it'll have to do until I can get back home. Anyway, come on, come on. No time to dwaddle. Oh, seems like you've got everything dug up and planted before I got here. Well, can't say that's how I would have done it. <laughs> but if we were the same, we'd have nothing to talk about. Looks like you've got a handle in farming. Don't let old granny slow you down. Speaking of, maybe you could use these? Oh my gosh, more seeds. <laughs> Tell you what. As soon as those carrots have sprouted, come tell me, and we'll celebrate you being a full-fledged farmer. Well, you picked that up speedier than a Styracosaurus. I'm off to Pebble Plaza. Come say hello soon, kiddo. Where am I going to find the stamina to like water all of these crops? I may have made a mistake. <laughs> and to plant them too, goodness gracious. All right, uh, well, first off, let me go into my storage here and put some stuff away because I am very full on inventory right now. I think these flowers I can put around my lot somewhere, so I really want to try that. Go there. Um, all right, and let's hang on to these things. I think what I'll do first is hop on Lucky need to remind myself not to like use up my stamina because like that's like so valuable like right now in the game and I'm going to clear out a little bit of some stuff over here so I can do some more planting especially with those like 10 <laughs> carrot seeds that we just got some more of oh man all right mm, um Trying to figure out like where I would want to even plant more. Maybe, maybe that'll be enough there for now. And what I'll do is I will clear out some more like over this way. So we can maybe like expand lots and stuff soon. And Lucky leveled up! Nice! Lucky you're doing great ma'am. Cozy dino game? Cozy dino game indeed. George welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Mm. 
Trading eight years in a very stressful kitchen for an apprenticeship in, in a nursery. Man, that is a, a big switch. Not been able to afford the pay cut till now because I'm moving with my fiance who's supporting me and going for something that will make me happy. DC, that makes me so happy to hear. Really happy that like you guys are in a place where like you can like feasibly like do that and also that you have like such a wonderful partner like to support you like during this time too. Ah, uh, used up all of my stamina. All right. Well, we did some uh, good clearing out there. A little bit more. So I'm going to hop off of Lucky and I'm going to go over here to my plots. And it looks like we can look at some of these crops that we're growing too. These are our potatoes. And over here I have some carrots. And then I think some spring onions over this way. Yeah, nice, very nice, okay. So, let me start by putting some more carrot seeds down. These are the carrot seeds, right? Let me just, yeah, they're the carrot seeds, cool. I don't think I had anything other than these. Although I might have some more seeds in my storage, so we could go and get those out. If I have the stamina, I would like to do those today too. Kind of hate that like things are growing like you know not continuously with the other stuff now <laughs> but it's all good those things away some more seeds there we have so many carrot seeds that's not even funny <laughs> okay all right so hmm let's how many seeds additionally do i have i have 13 seeds that i can still plant Wow. Okay. Let me get my hoe here. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I guess I could just do like another like row over there. Although I don't know if I'd like it like that close to the fence. I could do some in here, but I just like hate that it's like, you know, broken up by this debris that's still here. I could have cleared some of that out, but I didn't. Uh, I've still, so that'll take care of seven. I'll still have six more seeds. I'll just do this. That, you, you, and these. <laughs> it's not the prettiest garden, but she'll do in a pinch. Okay, so let's get our potato seeds again. Press one to five to quickly equip important items. Interesting. I don't know if that was a, a thing in demo. If it was, I don't remember it. I'll have to try that soon. Probably for like my tools. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to hop on Lucky, but let me just get you out of the way. <laughs> uh, where are my potato seeds again? Oh wait, no, I just used up all my potato seeds. Carrot seeds now. Yeah, let's switch to those. This game is adorable, isn't it? Was the one through five thing in the demo? Just couldn't remember it for some reason. It's good to know. Just got delivered, General. Nice. I hope it's not like a whole lot of um, like building that you'll have to do with it. Oh, the box is way too heavy for me. My husband's at work, so I called my dad to come help. Oh, good. Plus, having retired parents <laughs> that live close to you, hey, that, that's a, a, a huge benefit for sure. <laughs> but I'm so excited for you. Once you uh, have it all up and ready, I would love to see a picture. If you uh, feel like sharing, of course. So let's grab our watering can. Maybe I'll... Oh, I tried to assign that to my... Um, my, my quick bar. But it, like it ended up like going to something else. So how do you how do you actually assign stuff? Okay. 
it seems like one and one is my journal, two is the flute, which makes sense. So maybe I can put this as three. Well, then it switched to. <laughs> I really don't understand this. How do you set stuff? <laughs> I'm so confused. All right, uh, we got a little bit of water in here, so we can take care of a few of these. And then we need to get some more. Hey Eloise, thanks so much for the hydration. I hope you're having a good day. What are tips and tricks you recommend for Baldur's Gate 3? We'll probably be getting it next week um, when I get some money. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, I love Baldur's Gate 3 so much. Um, as for like tips and tricks, gosh, that's like hard for me to say. Like, I, I still feel so new to the game myself, but I was looking on Steam earlier and apparently I have like 66 hours in the game um, already. <laughs> but as for tips and tricks, gosh, I. I'd have to think about that. I feel like the game is pretty good in its explanations and stuff. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to think of like any hidden things where it's like, oh man, like I, I wish I knew this going forward, you know? Like I just, I can't really think of anything like that right off the bat. I'd say like maybe one thing if I had to think of something was that I don't know if they explain. So there's like this this um, feature in the game called inspiration, where you can basically use it to do re-rolls if you don't get a good roll. But what I don't think they explain in the game and what I found out later is the inspiration only stacks to like four inspiration per character. So like you, you might as well like use it up like and not try to like hoard it like I was trying to do. So maybe that is one thing. Let's put the herbivore food in Lucky's pen. And then we will, we'll see about like placing those flower thingamabobs that we got from a quest. All right, some herbivore foods in here. Let's give some pets to Precious Lucky. Hi, Lucky. Nice to see you. And, hmm, I should give Lucky a clover today, too, since we found out Lucky loves clover so much. And tomatoes. But let me see about this first. Would this be something that would be pretty, like, inside Lucky's pen? Just to, like, spruce it up a little bit, possibly? You know what I also want to do? I kind of want to push Lucky's pen, like, into the, the corner. I hate that I have to like pick it up to move it. I wish there was like a move option. If there is, I don't know where it is. I hate how much it like sticks out there. Um, maybe let's put some back there. Oh my gosh, Pen My Own Chain to Valley. Look at how pretty they are. In the little like, um, sampling of like the blueprint where it was just kind of highlighted it just kind of looked like they were going to look like weeds so i'm so glad that they're much prettier than that <laughs> let's uh let's place maybe the other one over here oh i love them oh they're so gorgeous oh, um it seemed like i could interact with it for a second but i think it'll only let me like pick it up i think so i think so okie dokes all right, so I'm going to take a look at my handy dandy journal again. I think today we might be able to meet Pippin at the Pebble Plaza. I still need to investigate the path to Dapplewood. And we need to bring some stone to Mary, seven stone to be exact. All right, so ooh, also it says I, I need to bring find the thing. <laughs> Grow at least 10 carrots and then take the carrots to Granny Agami. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, we have some carrots in our storage, but I don't think that, um, I don't think those carrots will count because I think 
part, you know, part of the quest is that we actually grow them. Speaking of growing, I realize that there's some crops over here that I can't see. Oh, he scares the Jesus out of me. DC! Your voice is lovely. Thank you so much for existing and playing all the cozy cute games. Smiley face. DC. Green heart. You're gonna make me cry. Thanks so much for the $10 donation and for the kind words, DC. That was super sweet of you. I'm just so grateful for you and your friendship and to have you here and part of our community. We thank you so much. It scared me too. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't just me. It was so peaceful and quiet. <laughs> oh man. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, DC. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, so let's go in here. And I do have some stone. Can I split this? Hmm. Can I split it? If there's a way to split stuff in the game, oh, oh, I kind of split it. Oh, I got, oh, I got one more than I needed. Crap. You can kind of, kind of split it that way, like a little bit. I would, it'd be nice if you could like, you know, hit split and you can choose how much you want to take from it. This kind of like cuts it in half. So like, at least there's, there's that. I was like holding down control for it to do that. So yeah, seven stone, got that. Cool beans, cool beans. Okay, all right. Lucky, come along, ma'am. We are going on another adventure. Uh, is it Gindias? Did I say your name right? How are you liking the game? Loving it so much. So I played the demo back when it came out, but I'm really excited to be playing like the full game now. And it's just, it's wonderful to be back in Viridian Valley and be able to, to have more content too. Look at these dinos, guys. Oh, okay. All right. I'm getting distracted. Uh, Owen is here with Bongo. Hey guys, Hello. how's it going? Oh, also, uh, speaking of distraction, Clover. <laughs> also speaking of distraction, we found out that Lucky likes Clover. So I'm going to give Lucky some Clover since I haven't given her a snack for today. <laughs> All right. Hi, Owen. Greetings, Wade. I was just ta taking Bongo on his daily constitutional. Mary was asking about you this morning. She sounded excited. No doubt another crazy idea. You should, you should talk to her if you can find her. I have no idea which way she went. Well, can we see her on the map? Yes, we can. I want to say that that was something that was not initially available in the demo. I don't think you could see characters on the map. I think they added that in later. All right, so Mary's over there. I do need to go to Pebble Plaza, but maybe we'll go to Mary first. We'll go to Mary first. I think we can get to her by going across this bridge. Look at the precious little dinos. Yesterday we saw a lot of orange ones. Now there's like some blue ones there. <laughs> so we didn't mean to scare anyone. It was probably uh, some good entertainment though, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> I could probably, I could probably turn down the sound on that alert though. <laughs> it gets you hyped, that's for sure. Uh, mm, um, and so like, if people are like uh, free to, to talk about the game for sure, but yeah, I just like want to give like the proper respect to this game since, um, you know, today's like the, the first day of it coming out and I've been really excited for this too. Did say it right? It's glad to hear it, Gindias. They added that in as a popular request to find characters. I'm so glad that they did. Look at over here. Psst, over here. Shh, these Calamimos are super skittish. I've been trying to study them, but they keep sneaking off every time I get close. Listen, really glad I spotted you. I was talking to Granny earlier, and she told me you had a flute. Got some time, you got some time to test a theory with me? Promise it'll be worth your while. I do want to, but I also wish it was some different colored Galamimos today. <laughs> I mean, eventually, I think it would be nice to have all of the colors of Galamimos, but 
All of these ones I, I, I'm pretty sure are common since it's like four of the same color. But again, I would eventually like to have all the colors of all the dinos. And especially now knowing that we, uh, oh, pronounce like gal Gallimimus, Gallimimus. Um, or Gallim, is it Gallimimus or Gallim Gallimimus? Gallim I'm gonna say Gallimimus, I'm assuming Gallimimus. Um, yeah, let's, let's say sure. Zippity, I knew you were a keener the first moment I saw you. Come on down here next to me and pull out that flute. Sounds good. All right, use your inventory to equip said flute. Okay, you hear those gal galamimuses calling to each other? Kind of musical, right? I wanna see what happens if you play a few notes at one of them. All right, which one are we going for? I <laughs> I know they look all the same, but trust me, they are not the same. They are all different. Hmm. Which one are we feeling? I'm feeling this one right here, maybe. Let's uh, let's go for this one. All right, so let's get your attention. Yes, look, 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 that one's listening to you. Gosh, wait until Avery hears about this. He's gonna go bananas. Now, I'm sure you've noticed this, but each species of dino has its own call. Just listen to the Gallimimus for a minute. Okay, that seems easy enough. There, try to mimic that call with your flute. That sound good? Did you like it? Did you like my song? I think it did. Wow, it worked. It actually worked. I've been following the herd all season, and this is the first real breakthrough I've had. I can't wait to document all this. You and I are going to be very good friends. I can feel it. Okay. Let's all admit that was amazing, but let me show you how to take it to the next level. Let's see if we can gain its trust. Here, I'll hold one onto some of your stuff. Your pockets are so full. I just left the house. Are they full already? <laughs> Wild dinosaur lesson two. Every species has a favorite food. Here, take this spring onion. Now, nice and easy, just hold it out and see what happens. All right, so feed some spring onion. I think this is going to like make it like too energetic because we're like almost in the red over here. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, that was a little, oh, oh, it went the opposite way. Oh, because it didn't like the spring onion. Ah, oh, drat, right, right. Gallimimus hate spring onions. I really should write some of this down. Let's see, what else have I got? Ah, carrots, try these. All right, let's try the carrot on the Gallimimus. Mary, you not, better not be setting me up again. There we go, that's looking a little better. That's the one. Looks like you have a chance to make a friend now. So yeah, we're not in like full green, but we're in the light green. Let's go again, give it another carrot. Okay, all right. See if we can get into the full green, I guess. We did, I started, uh, decided to start a new again too. Nice, Vixoon. Yeah, I think that's like always like super nice to just get like a fresh start and be able to experience all the new stuff if they added that in. So I hope that it, it started well for you today. Also, if you need to step away, get you any noms, drink, stretches, rest after your stream, please make sure to do so, but always glad to have you in your community here and glad to have you along for our Paleo Pines adventure as well. <clears throat> Oh, and uh, Duck, yeah, the uh, the update came out to today. Um, I'm part of the the partner program for that game. And with that, they give us like an early look at the stuff. So even though I haven't looked at the patch notes since update came out, I have seen early what they uh, were coming out with and it looked really good. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I think I got it too excited. That's my bad, but that's okay. Try to calm it down now, yeah? No, we were going to meet Pippin, but I got distracted. <laughs> Your traditional fare from Pippin's homeland. Delightful little cakes, but honestly, they're a bit uh, crunchy for my liking. But that's just me. 
One thing I do know, some of the dinosaurs go wild for them. Here, why don't you do the honors? I have the feeling it might just seal the deal. Alrighty, let's um, see about maybe adopting our first little critter, possibly. Do you like this? It worked! We get to pet our new friend! Alright, so um, for anybody who is new around here, welcome by the way, so glad to have you. Whenever we play a game like this, where we get to adopt a new critter, or purchase a new critter, whatever it is, I let you guys decide on a name for our critter. So guys, this is our first dinosaur that we've been able to adopt in our Paleo Pines playthrough. If we have enough suggestions in chat, uh, I'll put them to a poll. Let me know what you're thinking. What should be the name of our precious Gallimimus here? Pistachio. I am spelling pistachio right, right? Right? Just make sure. <laughs> it's pure annoying now. I think you can fix their names later if you do spell it wrong. I think I ran into a situation like that in the demo. Yeah, pistachio. Pistachio! Oh, and I just got an achievement! They won't bite. Take the first step in making a dino friend. Wow, that was amazing. Here's me with years of researching dinos, and you make a friend on the first try. I was just hoping to get close to them, but I'll wager this one's ready to follow you home. That flute, you think it'll work on others? So many possibilities. Like that Coriath... Cor Cor Corythosaurus? Those guys are fast. They'd make incredible steeds. Or dare I say, Styracosauruses? I've seen those charge straight through a boulder without even blinking, but they're notoriously hard to befriend. Now, you'd better find this Gallimimus a dreamstone pronto. Every dino needs one. Zippity. This is also exciting. Wait until Owen hears all about this. So we already did find a dreamstone, so we'll be able to supply a nice little home for our friend, our precious friend, Pistachio. And we can now see in this tab. Look at Pistachio. So Pistachio's coloring is called Dragonfly. I'm glad no one suggested Dragonfly for the name. <laughs> that would have been a little awkward. <laughs> All right, so, um, oh gosh, there's so much to do still today. I want to take um, Pistachio home, but I still haven't been to Pebble Plaza either. And it's already almost like this late in the day. Are you kidding me? I haven't done anything. <laughs> All right, before we take Pistachio home, I am going to go by Pebble Plaza first because I would really hate for it to like close up and me have not met Pippin. That would be really unfortunate. I think I see her right up there. I'm running for her. I'm going. Mm, my name got picked. Thanks so much again for suggesting it. It was wonderful. Hey, Wade. Welcome back to Pebble Plaza. I don't think you met Pippin last time you were here. Pippin, this is Wade. Hello, I'm Pippin. Pippin makes poppins. Yes, I make poppins. Poppins are like little cakes. Um, excuse me, they are not like little cakes, Marlo. Poppins are a cultural tradition from an age-old family recipe. Tell me something, Wade. How would you describe a cake? Uh... Spongy? Exactly. See, Marlo? As per tradition, poppins are crunchy, dry, salty, chunky, and taste absolutely nothing like cakes. Thank you very much. My bad, it's been a while since I had one. I'd forgotten their... charm. Would you like one, Wade? They're really good. That's what everyone says. Ask Mary, she buys them every week. I don't think she's buying them for herself. <laughs> um, I, I would like some for my dinosaurs. Enjoy, there's no crunch more satisfying than biting into a poppin'. That, that'll be 100 shells, please. Pippin, Wade is new to the neighborhood. Okay, 95 shells then. Really, Pippin? Okay, fine. Guess you can just have that one. Anyway, that's a Poppin. If you need any more, Pippin's got you covered. 
Except on baking days, when my stall is closed. That's the day I make more. It was nice to meet you, Wade. I got another achievement. Howdy Rancher. Meet every inhabitant of Paleo Pines. Oh my goodness. But that's interesting because I, I know that there's more characters because, you know, even in the demo, we were getting requests for other characters. So maybe they just don't live in Paleo Pines? I, I wonder how that works exactly. Hi, Pippin. You look like someone who needs a poppin. Poppin' anyone? I think we've got a quest for her. Oh, you're here to take the lucky trinket for Marlo. Here it is. Thanks so much. Can I interest you in a tasty poppin'? They're tasty. Ask anyone. Let's take a look at her shop. So right now she's selling Pippin rice, suspiciously crunchy, for 1,000. Holy moly. It must be good, despite the crunchiness. And then you can buy more crunchy poppins for 100. That's not too expensive. You come back when you need more poppins. We'll do. So we'll go down here. We will deliver to Marlo. Hello, good sir. What can I do for you this fine day? You can take this delivery. Between you and me, it's getting a bit rough with the path to Dapplewood blot. I'm doing my best to keep up with the needs of the community, but it's tricky with my, without my tools back home. The makeshift stone tools are really starting to wear out. Hey, with all that clearing you've been doing on your ranch, would you have about 10 stone you could give me? Uh, not right now, because I have some to give to Mary, but... Oh, I might have to give some to Marlo first instead. Uh, no problem. I'll just keep working with the tools I've got. Let me know if you find any, though. I'll be happy to take any stone off your hands. Oh, goodness. My lucky trinket. Thanks for bringing it. I was beginning to think Pippin had forgotten. Let's just chat with him today, too. Did you happen to find ten stone? Not quite. <laughs> Patience, Marlo. <laughs> you just you just asked me about it. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. Because, yeah, Mary wants seven stone total. I think I had, like, nine total at home. So, yeah, maybe I'll give these first to Mary. <sighs> I feel conflicted. See, yeah, I haven't gotten any more stone. Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll give them to Mary first. Uh, uh, Agami wants... Fiber. I think I do have some fiber either in my inventory or my storage back home. So we'll accept that. Mary's apple pie. I'm making apple pie tonight and I'm missing some ingredients. Can anyone spare any apples? Four should do it. So I, f hmm. I found... I found those apple, that apple tree earlier, but there were no apples on it or around it. So I kind of wonder if they're in season right now, if I can even get apples. So I'm a little hesitant to take that one right now. And of course, someone else needs stone too. <laughs> All right, let me just accept that stone quest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, all right, let's um, blow this popsicle stand. I really need to uh, probably first and foremost go home um, and take pistachio home for the first time. We'll also write down some information on the Gallimimus. And then let's hop on you. And we'll go home, drop some stuff off. I would love to come back out. So I do need to like investigate that path to Dapplewood, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, let's go here first. One thing at a time. They were all great names, weren't they, Lynn? Mm, oh, and uh, Pippin's pronouns are can and they them. Thanks so much for letting me know. I appreciate it. I didn't know a lot of the characters' pronouns. I knew I knew uh, they had referred to Lucky as like a she/her before. But I, I didn't really know about, um, about Pippin, so that's really good to know. Thank you again for sharing. All right, so let me take a look in my journal here. 
Here we go. So when I look at Lucky, Lucky, hmm, I was wondering if it said in here, so I thought it said before that Lucky would like a roommate. Maybe it says in this tab, maybe. And she, so it does say that the Gallimimus do like to be in packs. So I think, I think that these two would do well being roommates together. I don't have any fencing to expand their their plot right now, so hopefully that'll be okay. But what I do need to do is I need to go to my storage. I could have accessed it by going to my house, so I'll go in here and let's drop off these. I still need to go to Mary. Let's take this large dreamstone here. And we will go place it over here in this plot. I might like move around some stuff, honestly. All right, so let's grab you. I'm just gonna place you there for now. And then can I move this other stuff while I'm here? I wish that I could. Can I move this box here? Oh, dropped items. Oh, interesting. Oh, I was wondering what that box was. That was what was um, removed when we placed the gate there. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. I'm also going to move you somewhere else. Let's place the trowel. I'm gonna place the trowel there. And... Oh, upgrade progress. So I do, I, I do remember in the, oh, wow. I do remember in the demo, you could upgrade the tents or, you know, the, the dream stones. But it looks like it's a lot more advanced now because before you could only kind of like upgrade it to, I guess, a, a valley sleeping patch. But now you can upgrade it to a large forest sleeping patch or a large desert sleeping patch. Interesting. So I would assume that different dinosaurs like different types of patches. I wonder how we can find that out. Maybe just like where we adopted them from possibly. And since we, I think we pretty much found the, oh. Uh, I was questioning if we found the Gal Gallimimus in like a forest or like a valley. I feel like it was more like a valley. There weren't like a whole lot of trees around. So I feel like it would be good to eventually upgrade it to this. Possibly, probably, maybe. All right, I'm gonna pick that up one more time and I'll place you right there. And, hmm, where can I place the other pretty flowers? Can I pick up this saddle here? Perhaps this will come in useful later. I can't pick it up right now. Okay, all right. Um, let's take you and two in the way. Might be kind of like the only place I can put it right now. Hopefully that's all right. Let's put some food back in the trowel. Oh, or attempt to. Here we go. Probably gonna need to get some more food uh, pretty soon since we have two dinosaurs in here now. Goodness gracious. So I have one extra, um, whatchamacallit, fence, but I don't know if that will really benefit me anywhere right now until I clear some of this other stuff out. So yeah. Okie dokies. All right, let's give some pets to our new friend, Pistachio. And I would really like to figure out what Pistachio likes as a snack. I think we already gave Lucky some clover today. I think so. Maybe I can look in here and see if we can get a hint at what Pistachio would like. So it says its favorite treat is crunchy. 
which will be good to know for like crunchy poppins when we adopt more in the future. So let's see if we can find any other snacks that are crunchy. The carrots are crunchy. I think carrot is the only crunchy snack that I have right now. So let's let's try giving a, a carrot to to pistachio. There we go. Couldn't find it. Pistachio, do you like carrots? All right. Well, you weren't displeased by it, but not your favorite. All right. So good to know. Let me uh, put you in there and put that fence away for now. Still need to go to Mary. I need to make sure that I do that before we go to sleep tonight. All right. So come along, precious dinosaurs. We are going on an adventure and it looks like pistachio is coming with us. Mm. Uh, if they're in Verdian Valley, they like valley. So it sounds like forest will be just like a completely different area then. Good to know. Good to know. There's like still like some some more areas I, I didn't explore yesterday or you know, earlier today. Like I know there's one like up ahead here, like over that way and like more um, towards that side of the map as well. But I'm just trying to focus. I really want to turn these in before before we are forced to sleep. She says trying to focus as she um, <laughs> as she goes and grabs another clover there. This is fine. Totally fine. I'm trying to remember what the Gallimimus skills are. Sprinting and watering. So tomorrow we shouldn't have to water everything by hand ourselves. Pistachio should be able to do that for us, which will be really helpful. All right, come along, dinos. Gotta turn in some stuff. It's getting late, my friends. Yeah, just trudging up this hill. We'll get there one day. Yeah, okay. All right. Wow, thanks. And one more. Wow, thanks. <laughs> She's a lady of a, a, a few words. <laughs> so from that, we got tomatoes and peaches. Ooh. Peaches, 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 peaches. How about since the day is almost over, I might as well hop on. Oh, I was about to say I might as well hop on um, on Pistachio since they have the sprinting ability. But, but I don't have a saddle for Pistachio yet. So can't do that. I might not actually be able to water with her tomorrow after all. Her? Him? Them? I don't know if we know Pistachio's gender. Mm, I hate you, silly lady. I hope your stream is going well. It is, Calvin. Thanks for asking. I hope that you're having a good day, my friend. How has it been treating you? All right, where am I right now? I think the path to Dapplewood is somewhere in this direction question mark i wanted to make a continuation with that quest if i could where it like showed that i at least investigated it and oh man i'm investigating something else over here some more dreamstone getting all the dinosaurs do 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 oh no it looks like the path ahead is blocked this must be the boulder that granny and marla were talking about hmm I don't think we can get past the boulder right now. Sorry, Lucky. All right, so we continued that quest. And the next part is clear the boulder. So for that, we'll just have to find the proper dinosaur. I want to say that, I want to say that Mary potentially mentioned a Styracosaurus could clear the, the boulder. 
Oh, I'm so excited to get to Dabblewood. That's going to be so good. Yeah, couldn't do that in the demo. Let's go over this way and see what else we can find. There's another one of those workbenches there. And a precious little, little pond over here. So cozy. Let's do some more explorings and stuff. Take some clover, some more clover. There. Struggling. We'll do our researches on you. Some amethyst. Hmm. It'll be so interesting to see like how we can how we can harvest that. Oh, I shouldn't have put away my journal. Heck. Had something right here that I could check out. Tama Bloom. I don't know if I'm really familiar with what Tama Bloom is, but I feel like most of the resources in here are things that you can find, like IRL. Oh, got some fragments over here. Very nice, very nice. A ancient tablet, another part of the puzzle. Heck yeah. Oh, and is this another apple tree here? Very nice. Yeah, there was that apple tree, like, um, request on the board that we could take. Another dreamstone? This is a small one. Um, but both of the apple trees that I've seen up to this point have not been harvestable, so I'm kind of glad I didn't take it. At least not right now. Alrighty, dinosaurs. Where is Pistachio? I don't see Pita Pistachio anywhere. Did Pistachio get stuck somewhere? I see Pistachio's icon in the lower left corner, so that tells me that they're still out here and following us, but... It really doesn't look like it. Huh. But we found two dreamstones there, so that was really good. Really good. Where am I right now? Oh, I'm like behind the, like the village. It's like... Oh, and I just picked up some strawberries. Did I just steal them from that farm? <laughs> I didn't even see them. Ooh, but I do see some more fragments. Let's take those two. Trying to. Maybe. Here we go. Sweet, sweet. Take some more dandelions. I'm glad it doesn't take any stamina to forage, because I would be in trouble. <laughs> I'm over here just like, gotta take everything. Free stuff, I'm in. Let's go around this way. Hmm. Um. I think if we go this way, it'll get us back to that bridge. And then maybe I can wrap back to that other place I know I haven't checked out yet. Mm, are you a voice actor? I, I am not a voice actor, but I, I certainly wouldn't say no to doing any voice work sometime in the future. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> mm, I need a nap, but I gotta wait a few more hours for that. Oh man, I hope, I'm assuming you're working today, Calvin. I hope it goes by quickly for you, man. Oh no, I wanted to explore this area! Heck, it can't be bedtime! No! Let me take all the... Th I think I've managed to get one clover there. Oh. Mm, poor pistachio lost in the woods. I'm glad that they found their way back at least. <laughs> oh, um, one thing too that I don't think I've really done is save. So let me, let me do that. Yeah, we'll definitely keep playing. Thank you, game. It might have been doing some auto-saving, but if so, I haven't really noticed it doing that. Trying to work yourself to death, just trying to get all the things done. Ah, oh, good morning. Sorry to show up unannounced. I was hoping to update my data on Parasaurolophuses. As you can imagine, it's rather sketchy. Or is it Parasaurolophi? I don't even know the plural pluralization. 
I've never met one. Never mind two. Anyway, then I noticed you've acquired a new friend. A Gallimimus? We have. Their name is Pistachio. And you've barely been here a week. It took me months to get Bongo to follow me home. Now, I don't mean to brag, but I'm kind of the expert around here on Gallimimus. In fact, I got volumes of information on dinosaur care. Some observed, much theoretical or extrapolated, but all useful. Is there anything that might be vexing you with regard to Gallimimus care or dinosaur happiness in general? Let's just go ahead and ask him all the things. When caring for a dinosaur, their pen represents a space they can call their own. They like their pen to be a decent size comparative to themselves and be fully enclosed. Well, not fully enclosed, with a gate of course, and the gate is always open, so they can come and go as they please. A good pen needs a place to eat, a place to sleep, and to be kept tidy. Er, you'll know what I mean about keeping tidy soon enough. Trust me, you'll want a shovel. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to know? So the shovel must have been a thing in the demo, because I, I do remember having to clean up the poopsies, but I just didn't remember having a shovel for some reason. Let's talk about their diet. Just like people, dinosaurs can be very finicky about what, when, and how much they eat. First, point a quantity. It shouldn't surprise you that big ones eat big meals and small ones eat small meals. Thus, they keep their thought, their, their trowels topped up. Second, basic nutrition. Herbivores eat herbo kibble, carnivores eat carno kibble. You can purchase both at Pebble Plaza from Corlin Stall. By the way, don't go putting carno kibble in an herbivore's trowel. That's more insulting than not feeding them at all. Third, flavor. Every species has a few flavors they like, and some they can't stand. For example, a Gallimimus generally likes crunchy things. Carrots, bell peppers, rhubarb, etc. Others might prefer juicy or spicy things. But individually, each dinosaur has a favorite food. Bongo loves garlic, for example. Worst breath ever. <laughs> I don't have all the answers for every dinosaur, but keep trying things and be sure to keep any findings logged in your journal I gave you. Uh, let's talk about the dreamstones. I noticed that Lucky's pen already has a dreamstone. Dreamstones are the most crucial element to a dinosaur's comfort. Science can't explain why they love them so much, but they most certainly do. If you haven't got one, you may wake up one morning and find they run off to find one themselves. Speaking of which, keep your eyes open. Dreamstones are rare in the wild, but if you're bringing home new friends, you'll need them. Anything else you'd like to know? I'd like to know about trust. Now the most important thing to remember about living with dinosaurs is this. You don't own them. They're not pets or property, they're your friends. And it's their choice whether they stay with you or head back out into the wild. The better you treat them, the more they'll trust you and the longer they'll stick around. If they trust you enough, they'll offer to be your steed. In fact, some might even like to help out around the ranch. They'll let you know when they're steed worthy, but get yourself a saddle before you do anything like that. Trust me, I learned the hard way. And that's all. I hope you found this conversation enlightening. I have one favor to ask, or perhaps you can accept it as a recommendation. Anything you learn about a species at all, could you please log it in your journal? Your journal is a vessel to house new discoveries, learn preferences, traits, flavors, and much more. Use it often, and you'll never forget anything. Plus, I may want to compare notes now and then. The life of a scientist is never dull. I see you've made some notes about Gallimimuses already. Most diligent of you. Let's take a closer look at Pistachio. Approach the Gallimimus with your journal in hand. Will do. Oh, that's right. We didn't write down about the trying the carrot on, on Pistachio. So yeah, I do need to do that. I do need to do that. That's it. Keep holding the journal out like that. See how Pistachio is feeling? The heart is how much Pistachio trusts you. The circle around it shows how happy they are right now. Assuming it's the red I'm supposed to be paying attention to, they look pretty happy, but maybe it's supposed to be green. <laughs> the happier a dino is, the more they'll trust you each day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a big day planned. Destination, my library. Oh, can I join, please? I love books. Oh, so Rochelle, thanks so much for doing that caster command for our buddy Calvin, too. I appreciate it. 
Use the flute to get Pistachio's attention. Okie dokes. Um, if I can find the flute in here somewhere. Uh, let me just go in here. <laughs> here we go. All right. Boop and boop. All right. We'll say follow me and maybe bring you to your new pen. Lead Pistachio to a pen. Heck yeah. Let's do it. I hope that you like it over here. Hopefully you'll have enough room. Crossing my thingies. All right, here you go, Pistachio. Do you like it? This is your home. We did it. Pistachio's happy and Lucky's happy. Look, they're fast friends already. Give Pistachio some pets too. My heart. Okay, Pistachio, looks like you're all settled in. I'll check back tomorrow with the journal, like Owen told me. Speaking of the journal, I need to write here about the carrots, because we found out that that is not Pistachio's favorite. Not carrots. Okay, cool. I could probably go back into Lucky's and like remove the ones that are not... Um, Oh, you know what? I was about to say we could go into Lucky's and remove the ones that are not their favorite treat flavor. But since I don't have uh, her her breed of, of dinosaur in here, it, I'm kind of just like guessing with her. I don't really have any frame of reference or a hint there. So yeah, it's probably for the best that we tried everything. Okie dokies. Um, can I do anything else to make my dinosaurs happy right now? Lucky's a happy helper. Pistachio is a happy friend. All right. Well, I definitely need both of your help since we just started up a brand new day. So let's grab Lucky here and I'm going to do some more clearing out. Oh, I didn't mean to clear that one, but okay. All right. That works. I was trying to do this one here. Lucky's at level five. Very nice. I wonder if we'll get to level six today. We'll see. I don't know if we will, but we'll probably get pretty close. Pretty close, at least. All right. Um, hmm. I think that might be good for now on that. Then where else do I want to clear out some more? Let's clear out over here next to our garden a little bit, because this is just nasty. And then we'll do that one. And that one there. Okay, all right. Yeah, didn't quite get to level six, but you served us well, Lucky. It did really good. It's like, why am I not picking up these logs? Because, wouldn't you know it, my inventory is full. <laughs> Where's the backpack upgrade when I need it? All right, uh, drop those things in there. Let me give a clover to Lucky. Here you go, Lucky. I hope that you like your clover. There you go, you precious thing, you. And I don't think I gave you any pets today. Let's do that as well. You served us well, ma'am. Thanks so much. I'll put that away in there. Um, That can go in... Hmm. Maybe I'll keep that on me. In case we do find another dino. These can go in here. Um... I have eight stone. I wish I had like a little bit more for Marlo's quest. Maybe I'll take that with me in case we find any on our adventures today. But before we go out, what, uh, oh, what I need to do, uh, first and foremost, I need to get this wood over here that I wasn't able to pick up. Same with the fiber too. Well, do I have a quest for fiber for somebody? Who is it? How much do they need? Three fiber for Granny. Okay, so let's go in here. I have exactly three fiber on me. That's satisfying. All right, cool beans. I'm gonna go grab Precious Pistachio and we're gonna have Pistachio help us do some watering. Oh wait, no, we can't. We can't do any watering because I still need, oh, I still need, ugh. I still need a saddle. I don't think I can pick this one up yet, right? Nope, not yet. I think I have to have the quest for it. 
I would like to have you help me water. That would be great. Um... They're close. They're getting there with a the green ring. Oh wait, no, that's lucky. Never mind. <laughs> so they're not as close. <laughs> They're at like a third of the way there, so that's something. If I can find another crunchy treat to give to... to um, Pistachio today. See if I can find out their favorite. I think that would be really nice. Otherwise, I'll probably just give her another carrot because I, I want to do something to get that friendship up, you know? All right, so watering can. Let's take care of this. All by hand. Oh, it's gonna be so lovely when I don't have to do this all by hand. <laughs> Didn't one of the quests have a, re a reward as a saddle? I think you might be right. And honestly, like if I had enough money, I could probably just like purchase a saddle too. But here's the thing. Even if I do have a saddle, I can't use it until Pistachio basically gives me the all clear and is like, hey, I trust you enough to like put a saddle on me. So I guess right now it's not like a huge point in me like rushing to try to get one until we get to that point. Did you pick up everything by the pen? I was thinking, like, like in the pen? I was thinking I did, but maybe I should go back and check, possibly. Hey Brax, nice to see you. How are you? I hope that you're having a very lovely Tuesday. How has it been treating you? Will I have enough in here? No, I will not have enough water. I'm just like too short. All right, well, let's just go ahead and do six of them and then we'll go get a little more water, a little bit more. I was about to say, we'll probably make some good money from our crops once we can like actually like harvest them and sell them, but maybe I should hang on to them for like cooking too, because there is cooking in this game. So yeah, I don't know. Is, is there anything to this like stone cairn here? It doesn't seem like I can interact with it. So yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. All right. So, um, we have some fiber that we can go turn into somebody and some more exploring, of course, that we can do today too. I think that, I think Pistachio is following us as well. Well, I thought they were following us. It showed like in the bottom left corner. Um, it showed in the bottom left corner, but then like I left and, and they weren't. So it feels bad, man. Let me hop off and get to my handy dandy flutes. Let's try to get Pistachio's attention and say, follow me. All right, now, now they should be following us. So let me leave with Lucky and we'll see. Jacobs, nice to see you, friend. How are you? I hope that you've been having a really great day. How's it been treating you? Mm. Uh, her, uh, taking them with you into the valley, if that's where they're from, helps with the friendship level. Really interesting. Hmm, super cool. Good to know. Um, but yeah, that'll be really especially helpful once we like unlock other areas too and adopt some dinosaurs from there. Oh my gosh, there were still two crops that I didn't water. Oh, um. <laughs> I just saw that in my journal. I just got so sidetracked. <laughs> Thank goodness it tells you in the journal. All right, I'm gonna hop off of Lucky. Let me fill up my watering can. Cause I'm a silly Billy. I, I did fill up the watering can. I just actually like forgot to go use it afterward. That, you know, didn't do much for me. All right, everything is watered now. So let me hop back on you. We'll leave and hopefully Pistachio will still be following me. So where are we starting off today? We have 
a three fiber that we can turn into Agami. She's going to be at Pebble Plaza. I also can return that quest to Pippin. We can do that. I forgot to do that yesterday. Whoopsies. Um, and then we can see what other requests we can pick up too. The big thing I am just missing out on right now is stone. Can I, can I pick up any of these stones here? I don't... I don't think so. I don't think... Oh, oh, I can pick up this stone here. Yes, yes, let's go. See so yeah, if I, I can find any more, like, stones, like, on the way. That would be lovely. I have nine stones now. I, th I think I have some stones at home. All right, I know I just left, but I'm, I'm going back. I think I have some stones at home, because I've got a few quests for stone right now. And if... If I can knock all of those out today, that would be lovely, but we'll see. We'll see. Then you get so mostly from clearing stuff out in the farm. Right, right. Yeah, like, especially, like, once we get, like, a dinosaur that can break the stone, like, that'll be really helpful. But, yeah. Oh, I was thinking I had some stone in here. Apparently that is not the case. So if I can find, like, one stone just maybe, like, out and about while we are on our adventures today, I would be able to take care of that quest for for Marlo. But yeah. Oh my goodness, look at all the dinos. I saw that one over there and I'm like, oh, that looks like a rare one. That's a, uh, <laughs> that's um, Mary's. Let's get in the herbivore food here since I see it. Is this something over here that we can take? No, I was wondering if that was a stone. Also keeping my eyes on the dinosaurs to see if we notice any colors that seem like a bit more rare. Do you see some pears over here that I would like to grab? Thank you, precious pear tree. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Uh, where, where are my dinosaurs? Here you are. <laughs> Couldn't find them for a second. All right, so yeah, let's go to Pebble Plaza and turn some things in there. So I know I've got at least a couple things that we can do. Another thing that I think apparently they've added in since since I played the demo, apparently they have it now where you, I think you can, you can put a dinosaur to sleep and see its coloring without having to adopt it because you couldn't do that when the demo first came out you like had to like befriend it adopt it to see like what um color grading it was Coraline, hi anything i can offer you anything you can offer me actually i do need to buy some food from him probably soon sorry i'm a little distracted it's my uncle's budding day and i completely forgot until a few minutes ago oh um so anybody who's new to paleo pines budding days are people's birthdays and i think that's super precious i completely forgot until a few moments ago do you have any dandelion or clover that's nothing uncle there's nothing uncle taz loves more 15 of each would do the trick okay i might have that at home but we'll see well, if you find a flower soon, come back and we'll work something out. Sounds good. Um, haven't found them yet. <laughs> I don't know if chatting with them actually raises their friendship at all, but yeah. Let me let me go up to Pippin because I think I have one or two things to turn into her. Hi, Jones. Welcome in. How are you? I hope you're having a nice day. You look like someone who needs a poppin. There, that's a weight off my mind. Thanks. So we did get a saddle from Pippin for that. Nice. And then I also have some... Oh, some stone to give to you. I was kind of hoping to hang on to that for my Marlow quest, but we'll, we'll find more, I guess. Poppin' <laughs> anyone? Not right now. Thank you, ma'am. Or, excuse me. Ma'am, sir, they, them? Genuine question here, guys. So, like, um... Like, I'm so used to, like, saying, like, ma'am, sir, and calling people that. Like, is there, like, a like a gender-neutral, like, alternative to, like, to those? Because if so, I would like to use that for, for Pippin. Oh, sorry. My head was miles away. What can I get you? 
It is what I can get for you. Here's your award. Thank you. We got, did I get some more carrot seeds there? Yes, I got some more carrot seeds. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, garlic. Garlic is crunchy. We should try feeding some garlic to, to pistachio. I don't, I mean, like, I love garlic. I don't know who would want to eat, like, a straight clove of garlic, but may, maybe, maybe. <laughs> More stone. Mm, oh, I was thinking this was stone for a second. I was concerned. Wood. I can definitely do wood. Lost Lucky Trinkets near the rope bridge in the valley. Okay. Study Styracosaurus. Can someone settle a bet? I need details on the ventral epidermal patterning of a wild Styracosaurus. If you can get one to stay still for you. And I think with that, we can just, we can just kind of like put them to sleep and study them. Crunchy pop and ooh, and a whole bunch of shells. Uh, yeah, I'll accept that. Deliver a notebook or another saddle to marry for me. Okay. Has anyone seen it? I've lost a lunky trinket around Pebble Plaza. Well, I'm in Pebble Plaza right now. She'll give us sleeping valley rocks. I wonder what those are gonna look like. All right, so I'm going to look around for what Mary lost. She said she lost it somewhere here in Pebble Plaza. Can't go through here, right? No, that would be nice though. Might be down there, like, close to Marlow, maybe? Because I want to say in demo, I remember there being, like, a spot there where you could find some stuff. Doing good. Glad to hear it, Jones. I'm doing well, too. Thanks for asking. Glad to be playing some Paleo Pines today. There's, like, an invisible wall there. Oh, I guess because it's kind of like a cliff. That makes sense. <laughs> hmm. Well... I don't know if I'm really actually like seeing what I'm looking for. I must have like passed by it. What can I do for you this fine day? Oh, I can take your reward apparently. Oh, I, I guess I just gave him some stone, but not for like the main quest. Oh, you're here to talk. You're here to take the notebook from Mary. Here it is. Thanks so much. No worries. All right. So Mary, I think we saw her out in the field, but I really want to find. That thing of a bob that was left here. I, I kind of wonder if I need to leave since like, you know, I took the quest and like I was already here. I wonder if I need to leave for it to like reappear. I guess I could try that. I might, I might try that. Yeah, let's, let's do it. I know there is a term that's more gender neutral, but I can't think of it for the life of me. Manager at work has started using phrase, greetings, fellow human. <laughs> Bold of you to assume I'm a human. <laughs> Ooh. The, the gender neutral version is, is, is mix. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm not the one that's being called it, so I guess, you know, like, it's not really up to me. But just, just hearing it, it, like, kind of sounds like a little strange. I feel like I would get some looks calling people that, too. I feel like some people would be like, what, what'd you just call me? <laughs> I was thinking that maybe stepping away would allow it to like spawn in. What am I even looking for again? I think it's a lucky trinket, maybe for Mary or something. A lucky trinket for Mary in Pebble Plaza. Where have I not looked? Anyone have any ideas? I 
guess I didn't go like in here. It's a cute little like library here. Oh my gosh, hang on. Oh, okay, this wasn't what I was looking for, but this is also like really precious. Photo op moment, let's go. <laughs> I don't know if there is a photo mode in this game, but I could probably just take a screenshot. Oh, that's super cute. I was totally worth, totally worth. All right, continuing my search for this darn lucky trinket. I was like, oh, this is gonna be super easy. Cause like with the lucky trinket one or the hat, the missing hat we found like at Bongo's thing, that was, that was really easy. blind? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something very obvious right now. What did they just like pull out of the ground? I'm just like looking for like any kind of like prompt for me to like pick up something. I see ones for me to like sit down but... other stuff to do so I might just have to look for this one another time but I did not think it was going to be this rough trying to find it goodness gracious the sad thing is I don't think you can like abandon quest either I don't think you can like drop them after you've committed to taking them it's kind of hoping that they would add that in in the um full game but it doesn't look like it, sadly. Was there something on the picnic bench? Was it? All right, I'm going to go back and look. <laughs> oh, oh, almost left. Picnic bench. Was that up? One of these picnic benches or over there, possibly? It does look like there's like a little like pebble there, but nothing I can interact with. Gosh, the day is like almost done. Sadly, nothing I'm seeing on the picnic benches, but I'm glad we checked. I'm glad we checked. Uh, most ladies don't like uh, don't like being called man because they consider it being called old. Yeah, like so that was like really something I, I like kind of had to get used to. I feel like I'm still getting used to, <laughs> even though I'm like nearly 30 years old. Um, about like the whole ma'am thing. Like I I still call people ma'am just as a term of endearment, and like I I call people ma'am even who are younger than me. Um, as a, you know, a term of endearment, a, you know, a sign of respect. And it might be because I kind of like grew up in the South, so that might have something to do with it. But I know like in other, you know, areas, it's like you said, you know, they're, they're like, oh, I'm not old. So yeah, I, I hope nobody thinks I'm calling them old. I like how this is kind of shaped in a heart. That's so cute. I don't know if that was intended or Mickey Mouse ears, depending on how you look at it. All right, what other quest did I have? Uh, oh, I'm trying to like saddle up on pistachio. That's not working out too well. I think some of them I needed to go home and pick up some stuff. Yeah, wood. I need to go to Mary. Dandelion, clover, stone. All right, let's um, let's go to Mary and go home, grab some stuff, and then come back out. Oh, Momo, nice to see you. Welcome in. How are you? I hope you've been having a good start to your week. I'm super Southern. I call everyone ma'am same. Call my one-year-old, <laughs> call my one-year-old ma'am. <laughs> my dog ma'am, usually when they're in trouble. Oh, that's great. We love little pumpkin. <laughs> oh. 
hi just lurking always appreciate the lurks thank you thank you so much and rochelle thanks for dropping an exclamation pumpkin in chat for our friend momo aka pumpkin day she's amazing Aww. all right so let's drop off some stuff because boy i've got a bunch i would love to plant my carrot seeds today but i don't have room for that i'm going to try giving some garlic to I'm gonna try giving some garlic to pistachio. Pistachio, do you like garlic? All right, y you didn't hate it, but you didn't love it. So let me write that down. There we go. Put that away, this away, those away. Uh, This in there too. I told uh, Owen that I would study a Styracosaurus too. We'll see if we can find time for that, but man, time's a ticking. So. Fifteen dandelions, fifteen clover. Do I have those? I do. Okay, cool. So let's take that with us. This with us too. I need to search around the rope bridge for Agami. Two wood. Okay, I think that's all I really need to grab right now. Just take all of that with me, I guess. And before we go, what I'll do is put some more food in the dino's pens. Is pear classed as crunchy? I don't think it was. I think it said juicy and something else on the pear. Good thinking, good thinking. There we go. Out back on Lucky. And let's see what we can do before the day ends. It's getting close. Like crunchy pears, but partner insists pears are, are best eaten soft. I probably would have to agree with you with the like whole crunchy thing. Like I wouldn't want it to be like mushy. Like some texture, some hardness to my food. All right, so Mary. Mary was one of the beans that we needed to talk to. It looks like they're up with Agami right now, and I think we needed to turn something into Agami as well, which is on the way to the rope bridge, which we also need to check out. Yeah. Don't mind me just being a loot goblin along the way, as per usual. Sorry it's off topic, but a few of us from the community are wanting, um, waiting for, oh, there's a quest that's bugged? Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, found Taryn and Anissa in the server. Nice. A bunch of us are having a sit party. Oh, man. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. <laughs> hey, but at least you're there together. <laughs> This game looks so cute. I love the whole aesthetic. Momo, did you ever get to play the demo back when that came out? So we're fortunate enough to have early access to this game. The full release of it for everybody happens in two weeks from now. I highly, highly recommend it. It's It's been very cozy and very good. I can't wait to continue it. I think I've got everything from here that I can get right now. All right, let's go up here and we'll pop off again, grab some more clover. And apparently there is something around the rope bridge that we can get for one of the characters. It might be on this side, though, so let me look over here. not seeing anything. So maybe it was on the other side? Oh, would you looky there? Is it, there's a little dreamstone down there. Let's go and grab that. I don't think I've been over this way, like, like a huge amount. 
Hello, precious dinosaurs. Pleasure to see you. Don't mind me. Just coming in here to eat the dreamstone. Hope you didn't need that. So sorry to invade. I'll be out of your hair. Thank you. Thank you for your time. You're quite lovely. Thank you. Got a lot of dandelion over here. My goodness. I probably didn't even need to take any out of my storage. I could have just grabbed this. Look at those dinosaurs over there. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, I can't wait to... Gotta catch them all. It's gonna be like Pokemon all over again. All right, back on you. But yeah, that's blocked for now. Hmm. That's blocked as well. So we need to go around the other way. Do, 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 I think sometimes we can harvest some cranberry over there, but I don't think it's regrown yet. I think it was a gami that wants a thing near the rope bridge. So yeah, I just gotta find that. It's gotta be that rope bridge. I don't think there are any other ones. My notebook, thanks for bringing it. I was beginning to think Marlo had forgotten. What did we, what did we get for that? I don't even know. <laughs> What was the reward? A sense of accomplishment. Friendship. That was the that was the reward. Yeah, I'm just not seeing anything here. So let me go back over here and see if I can find something. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like so subtle. It's just like one like dot there that like, you know, you can so easily walk past. So it's no telling how many times I walk past the, the lucky trinket that's in Pebble Plaza right now. Maybe that's the last thing that we'll do for today is go back to Pebble Plaza and see if we can find that thingamabob. So that's where my lucky trinket was. Thank you. No worries. No worries. All right, back on we go. Question: When will you be adding? When will you be adding gifts for Finn's birthday to throw and asking for a friend? You're so sweet to ask. <clears throat> yeah, his his birthday is coming up soon. His birthday's on the 25th, so I think we're gonna have a a birthday stream for him that day. Um, as for like adding some things to uh, the throne gift list for him. I, I totally would be down to do that. Um, I can try to do that within the next couple days. Maybe even tonight, possibly. <clears throat> I still need to get a birthday gift for my boy myself. Probably got some shells for the, yeah, possibly, possibly shells, which I'm always down to have because money. How much bunny do we have right now? 87. Not a whole lot. <laughs> but we'll be rolling in the in the shells one of these days. One of these days. See, so yeah, I'm gonna go over to Pebble Plaza and see if I can find that darn trinket. Yay, thank you. No worries. Thanks so much for asking about it. Totally asking for a friend still and, and thanking on their behalf. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, do I have something to turn into Corlin? Oh, the dandelion. That's right. I'm honestly surprised he's still here. It's so late. You buy and you sell in? What can I do for you today? Poor thing. Did you find the flowers for my uncle? I did. Whew, you saved my day. Can I pay you in carnivore food? I don't have any carnivorous dinosaurs right now, but I mean, I will. I will have carnivorous dinosaurs. So I'm just gonna say sure, deal. You've made my Uncle Taz very happy. Yeah, he gave me 50 carnivore food, which is not bad, not bad at all. Thank you very much. All right, we are continuing our quest for the lucky trinket. When we are near it, a, like a white dot should pop up. It just hit midnight, so the time hasn't started ticking yet. I didn't realize I could go over into this corner. Is this where it is? When I uncovered that we could go behind here, I was like, oh, this, this has got to be it. <sighs> and I feel like... 
like most of the lucky trinkets that we found thus far, or you know, the missing items, have been in bushes. So maybe I should like mostly stick to the bushes. I don't know if I can go in these. Yeah, I can. <clears throat> befuddled <laughs> like how did they hide this thing so darn well I can't like go down here right no this is like off limits um we're in the Dickens is this gosh darn thing <laughs> Where, where have I missed? I feel like we've, we've, like, we've walked through here, like, so many times. I, I have no clue. I'm so confused. Can I pick up the quest today? It was, are you kidding me? is such a troll it was right in front of the billboard so like you know when i saw the white dot i'm like oh that's just to look at the town board again oh my lord oh they need to remove that as a as a spawn spot for the missing items that is so mean <laughs> wow wow Oh. All right, well, I found it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not salty. What? Ten stone still for Marlo. Two wood for Marlo. Where is Marlo staying at? I don't know if I can get to him at nighttime, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I've got two things that I needed to turn into him. One for Pippin as well. And one for Mary. So technically I can talk to Mary at this time of, of night, but I feel like it's going to force me to sleep at any second, so I don't know if I'm going to get to her in time. I'll try to, though. I'll try to. Yeah, the, <laughs> that emote right there, Jacob, is just how I'm feeling right now. This, this is fine. Everything's on fire. <laughs> totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, what's not fine is Pistachio is not following me anymore. I think once... Yeah, it's about to force me to sleep. I think once it, we go to sleep, I think pistachios should appear on my farm again, or on my ranch. Yeah. Oh, I heard noises. Happy noises. I think happy noises. Seeds have blown onto the ranch. Oh, cool. As, as if I'm lacking on the seed department. <laughs> Good morning, Lucky. Nice to see you. Hello, hello. And yeah, pistachio's back, thank goodness. Some spring onion seeds there. Some fiber, some wood, anything else that I can collect. Oh, yep, got some more seeds over this way. My garden's gonna be like so huge. <laughs> some more seeds over here. Oh, and over here too. This area's like so messy. I can't wait to clear this one out as well. No, I don't think there's any more over that way. Let's go this way. Oh, and I got a weed. I got a weed on my crop. Not enough room for weed. Okay. 
Let's put some stuff away. Goodness gracious. Uh, boo. I'm gonna see about placing those somewhere. Oh, we got some more medium valley flowers? I thought it was some kind of other award. I don't think I really have room for those flowers right now, so maybe I'll put those away. Uh, these can go in there too. Here, I just heard some floppy ears. That might have been Finnegan. <laughs> I'm talking about you and your floppy ears, sir. I am. All right. Um, maybe I'll also take out the clover so we can give that to Lucky. And it looks like we have our first harvest here. We got some carrots. Nice. Sweet. So we'll be able to turn that quest in today, I think, to Agami. Got some more seeds over here. So I've got five open spots right now. Thank you too. I have five spring onion seeds, so honestly that works out perfectly unless I find more spring onions, in which case that's going to ruin it, but uh, for now, since this works out so well. Oh, do I need to till it again? I think I need to till it again. I was thinking I just could put the seeds in the hole, but apparently not. And then I have six more after that. So we'll do, boop, two, three. Oh, I was about to say this is going to fit perfectly, but that darn rock there is in the way. Gosh darn it. Uh... So I'll just put this here. Oh, that's killing my OCD. Okay, uh, so let's take care of these first. <gasps> Another achievement? Let's go! Crop rotation. Plant a crop in its favorite soil type. Hmm. I mean, now that you mention it, I, these, these, um, plots here do look a different, like, texture. Interesting. Hmm. Mm hmm. I wonder if there's some more information on that in here. Perfect soil. Sticky. Depletion? Soft? I don't know what that means about the depletion. Does anyone know? It tastes juicy and crunchy. Care. Plant with hoe. Water. water. Oh, are there some crops that you don't have to water daily? Water daily. Water daily. Hmm. I, I, I don't know. Um. I also wanted to try to like plant the 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 cranberries and maybe pears too. Where are the pears? Here they are. This tree only produces fruit during one season. It takes 42 days to mature, so I feel like we better, like, get planted on those. <laughs> but I don't know where I want to put them either. Oh. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it leaves the soil soft when you harvest? Oh, that could be it. So, we just harvested some carrots from there. So they left the, so if we're going with that logic, then they left the soil soft. And we planted some spring onions there. Perfect soil soft, that's what it is. You're exactly right. And their depletion is sticky, which the carrots like. So you kind of just like rotate those. What about potatoes? Potatoes also leave it soft, so which is good for spring onions. So basically, either of those crops are good to plant spring onions afterward, which is great because I think spring onions are currently the highest money-making seed that we can purchase. But their potatoes' perfect soil is firm. Interesting. I wonder what can give us firm. 
Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, uh, so we planted those guys. Let's plant some more carrots over here. I just, I, I love like the intricacies to the different like soil types and stuff. Kind of reminds me of uh, with, you know, Palea and, you know, thinking about all the, the different, you know, strats that you can do for the gardening. And I, I love that, you know, there's some intricacies to this one too. So I still cannot saddle, I still cannot saddle pistachio right now. But maybe if I give pistachio some loves and, and like a snack today, like maybe we could then. Do need to give a clover to our precious Lucky here. Did I do any cl uh, clearing out with Lucky today? I have not, so we can still do that. Lucky's really close to getting to level six. Let me go over here to my storage. Um, yeah, if we can't get pistachio to saddle level uh, today, then we'll have to water by hand. That can go in there. And let's... Hmm. I wish I knew what garlic or carrots like sold for. I feel like since I have more access to carrots, I'll probably give a carrot to pistachio today. I need to sell some for... I think we, I think we need to sell some for our quest with Agami. Maybe we just need to show them to her, possibly. Yeah, take the carrots to Agami. So it doesn't necessarily say sell. Okay, all right. Hello, precious pistachio. Lucky's happy, good. I don't know if they just wanted to be in their pen or what. Ooh, I see something in the pen right now. Let me go ahead and take care of that. Our first turd, beautiful. Oh, it's a big one, all right. Ooh, achievement. Do I have to clear your first dino poop? <laughs> Getting all the achievements today. Heck yeah. All right. Um, carrots. Let's give this to you. Here you go, you precious thing, you. So with that fertilizer that we just got, saw fertilizer, handle with care. Oh. So it says soft fertilizer. So then, does that mean it would be good to use on the spring onions? I wonder if I can use it after they're planted. We could go try it, we could go try it. Also, I'm gonna lower my light a little bit. It's getting a little darker in here, so it's starting to be blind me. It's a little better, a little better. Do I have some food that I can put in here? Yes, I do. And... Let's go try, let's go try the fertilizer on the spring onions. I think it was right here that we planted them. But to be fair, that soil is already soft, so I don't know if we can make it even more soft. These are also spring onions back here. Uh, it doesn't seem like it'll let me use it on there, I guess since they've already started growing. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait to, to try to use this. That away. Take the carrots to Agami. Find stone? Wood. I've got a couple for wood. Okay, so I'll take wood out of here too. And we still need to do some clearing out of our plot. So what am I going to clear up? Hmm. Let's do some over here. Lucky got to level six. Very nice. Very nice. And hmm. 
Maybe let's get some back here too. And then I think I'm gonna go over to this side and start clearing out some of this as well, because I feel like this might be a, another good spot for a pen in the future. Probably should have gone more in this way, but oh well. Uh, enough stamina for I think two more. We'll do this one and we'll do that one. Oh, hey, look, there's another trial right there too. Perfect. Alrighty, Lucky. Thank you, thank you. You are over halfway toward level six, so feels good, man. Feels good. Okay, let me uh, go drop stuff off in my storage one more time. Just popping in to say good morning and have a wonderful day in stream. Umbra, thanks so much. I appreciate you. I hope that you got some good sleep, friend. It's a pleasure to have you here. All right, I'm going to hop on Lucky and we're going to go over here to Pistachio. Get Pistachio to follow us today so we can build some more friendship. How are you looking right now on the, on the friendships, Pistachio? Pistachio is half of a ring. Oh, I, I hope that we can adopt pistachio soon. Does it say anything what I can do? Pistachio enjoyed the treat that you gave them. Well, that's good. Okay. All right. Okay. See, I don't know if there's really anything else that I can do for right now, other than again, you know, just like having pistachio follow us. Follow me, please. Thank you. And we are going out for some adventures today. I was like confused for a second because I saw in the bottom left corner, it looked like the ring for Pistachio was like further along, but I think that's their experience ring, not the like the friendship meter. Anything that we can harvest over here? I do see some more cranberries. Can't get enough of those and some clover too. I just left my house and my inventory is already filling up. <laughs> All right, okay. I also today need to study a Styracosaurus. It's another thing that I need to do. I'm seeing a few of these like teal colored ones. I think the only like different one I'm really seeing right now is that blue one there, but I think that's also possibly common, but for the sake of this quest that we have, let's uh, let's study that Styracosaurus there. I'm going to get this and, oh, oh, come back, come back. And what does your friend call? All right, big red, medium yellow, and blue. There you are, you precious thing, you. Okay, so now uh, we're just going to soothe it and basically put it to sleep so I can study it for Owen's quest and see its color grading too. All right, so now this and that and write some stuff down. Dracosaurus discovered, heck yeah, all right. So this one is common in color. The color is called Bright Sky. I like that. All right, so did that take care of Owen's quest then? Study a wild Styracosaurus while it's asleep. Perfect. Tell Owen what you learned. Awesome. Okay. So let's jump on you and oh, where do I want to go first? I've got something to turn into Pippin, a couple things to Marlow. I, I basically got quests for everybody right now. So <laughs> let me start over here in Pebble Plaza after I grab some more cranberries. Oh, and I, I, oh, I don't think I watered. I do need to go back and water. Oh. I should, <laughs> let me turn in these quests. I'm gonna do that because when I'm in Pebble Plaza, I might, I might have some more quests that I can pick up. And in which case I'll need to go home to get some more stuff out of my storage. 
yeah, I think I didn't forget to water. Thank you for the reminder there. Alrighty. To Marlo first. What can I do for you this fine day? For you, sir, I have a notebook and we have another saddle, okay? And also I have some wood for you. Ooh, and money. Thank you very much. I will always take some monies. Have something for Agami. I don't think I have anything. Oh, I was about to say, I don't think I have anything for Pippin. I actually might have something for Pippin. Well, paint me purple and call me a beetroots. What do you need? I always felt like beetroots are more red, not purple. I guess they're kind of like kind of a burgundy mix. Look at that, carrots. You remind me of when I was half your age. You ready for potatoes? Ain't no problem that can't be solved with a potato. <laughs> By the way, did we just get more seeds? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll have to see if I have enough stamina to even plant these right now. Take these back. I never actually wanted the carrots. You keep them. Or better yet, bring them to Corlin. He'll trade anything for anything. Just don't leave them here. I've got plenty. Can't get rid of them fast enough. Sounds good. Thanks, Granny. Ooh. And yeah, it does look like Pippin has something to say to us. It might be a quest. We've just got so many right now. You look like someone who needs a poppin. That's a weight off my hands. I did have some wood for her and she gave me some apples. I think these are my first apples. Heck yeah. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. What are the, what's the flavor profile of an apple? Crunchy and juicy. So I wonder if pistachio would like an apple. I'll have to try that. Marlo's carrot soup. I'm making carrot soup tonight and I'm missing some ingredients. Can anyone spare any carrots? I, I have a bunch of carrots on me right now, so that's perfect. We'll accept that. I need wood. I have wood. Apparently, wait, hang on, hold up. <clears throat> if I may, I'm making carrot soup tonight and I'm missing some ingredients. Can anyone spare a potato? <laughs> All right, Marlo. <laughs> um all right, at least, at least Agami knows what she's making. She, she wants potatoes for potato soup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think the first one said carrot soup for carrot, but now I'm, I just want to make sure now. Marlo's carrot soup. Yeah, so we have Marlo's carrot soup. Carrots, Marlo's carrot soup, potatoes. <laughs> Oh, that's great. All right. Um, paint me purple and call me a beetroot. What do you need? Uh, for you, I have some wood and we got some peaches in return. I, I have the carrots at least for Marlo. I don't think I can help him on the potato front just yet. Take this, you've earned it. 85 shells, very nice, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh let's blow this popsicle stand and see um what else we can find oh i wanted to try the apple on precious little pistachio here pistachio do you like apples oh liked it didn't love it okay let's write that in the journal too All right, we're narrowing it down slowly but surely. So I think I also needed to go to Mary, question mark. Yeah, we got one quest to turn into Mary. Mary is currently uh, actually right over here. I'm glad that I looked at my map because that was not the direction I was going. Adriana is sending you a really big hug. If there's anything that we can do to help, I, I really hope that we can. 
I hope that your evening gets better too. Guys, can we get some exclamation hug and chat for our friend AC and H or Adriana? I'd appreciate it. I know Adriana will too. So I lucky trinket, you're so good at finding things. Was this the one that was right in front of the bulletin board? Oh boy. All right. So got that. Let's hop back on Lucky. And where do I want to go now? I don't think I have any potatoes at home, so I think that's going to have to wait. I think maybe what we'll do now is um, possibly see about adopting another dinosaur or two even. Oh, I might be going crazy with that. Maybe I should get some more fencing first as well. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, let me let me see about um let me see about getting some some more fencing. Maybe another gate too. I know I have like one fence at home, but I don't think I have anything else. Hi, Marlo. Alright, so we have 217 shells right now. Oh, I was going to like buy some stuff from him, but I don't even have a place to put it right now. Alright, well, I guess we're going home after all to put some stuff away. And we'll have to come back here, hopefully before they close up. So I think once night hits, he's going to be gone. I could swear that I brought Lucky with me. Or not Lucky, uh, Pistachio with me. But I don't see Pistachio. I don't know if they're just like lost in the wild somewhere or if they are back home. I guess we'll find out since we're going this way. Guys, thanks for dropping those hugs and chat for our friend Yo. Also, hey, Bergy, nice to see you. How's your day been? I hope you've been having a lovely one. There's Pistachio. All right, so let's drop off most of these things. I still need to do watering too. I can't forget to do that. I'm gonna hang on to those seeds. Oh, this is that valley rock thing that I found. I'll have to see about placing that somewhere. Okay. So let me take that. We'll... Oh, I've also got some herbivore food in here, apparently. Usually I put that in the trowel. I don't know how I, why I didn't put it away. Let me get my handy dandy flute so that Pistachio can follow us again. I was like, where did they go? <laughs> And follow me, please. All right, so then we'll hop on Lucky and go back out here to, to Marlo. Buy some fencing, buy a new gate, and then we'll see about getting a dino. Some of the dinos like to be in pens with other critters. Some do not, so I just want to make sure I'm prepared for if we need to make another pen. It's been good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, Bergy. <clears throat> Got the desk built. Heck yeah, General. Nicely done. Had a bit more work for the day than going to get everything set up. We'll send a pic when it's all done. I can't wait to see. Oh, I bet it's going to look amazing. Anything I can offer you today? Yes, indeedy. So I guess first off, we'll just buy a, a, a gate because I've got to have one of those. That's the most expensive thing. And we can currently afford 11 more fences. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy all of those. Oh, okay. Not a whole lot. 12 fences. Totally have now. So I'll see what I can do with that. I'll see what I can do. Okie dokies. So... I think we can adopt a Styracosaurus, and I think that might help us with like clearing out some more things. So I think, I think we might go and try to adopt one of those. I don't think I saw any like rare colorings, but it it's not a big deal. Because again, like eventually I would love to have like all of the colorings of the dinosaurs. And Pistachio just leveled up. Nice. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right, so, hmm, 
Do I want like this teal colored one? Do I want the blue one? I think the teal one is also common, but I'm just gonna make sure. Oh, before I try to adopt anybody, I need, I need uh, a poppin. Just can't do that without, okay. All right, let's go back and grab that real quick. Still need to do my watering too. <laughs> Can't forget it. <laughs> um, maybe I should do that now. Cause we can, I think we can always adopt the dinos even if it's late. Let me go ahead and take care of the watering before I forget. Okay, we have, oh boy, a whole lot of seeds. I think I've got even more in my inventory too, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to plant those today with all of these that I have going right now. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to, definitely not gonna be able to um, plant more today. I just hope I'll have enough stamina to like water. Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough stamina to water all of these. But we'll see, we'll see. Not looking too pretty, my friends. I've got 15 stamina left. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. What restores your stamina? Is it can like is it just poppins that you can eat yourself? I'm not gonna have enough stamina. Um, mm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly hop on Lucky here and I'm going to run to Pebble Plaza. Hope I get there before they close up. Okay. Oh man, oh, Pippin is, oh, she's gone for the day. Gosh darn it. Cause I was hoping to get here, sell some stuff to Coraline and then buy like another uh, Pippin from Pop or a Poppin from Pippin, <laughs> but yeah, sadly, I just did not make it in time. Um, I'm gonna see about lowering my light a little bit more, just getting like might be like storming outside right now. Let me also do oh, 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 geez, that's not what I meant to do. My like thing glitched out, the light is like completely blue right now. One second, guys. Let's try right about there. It's a little bit better. Not as blinding. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to get here in time to uh, sell some stuff to Coraline and buy another Poppin from Pippin so I could like eat one myself for stamina and then have some tomorrow or, uh, you know, or later today to um, adopt a dino. But yeah, right now it's just like looking like one or the other and like I really need to kind of prioritize myself so that I can, um, so that I can water the rest of my crops. So that's sucky, but hey, at least that way I can also plant some more crops. <laughs> or maybe I should wait on that because I really don't know if I need any more right now. Um, oh goodness, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Am I imagining that the cranberries sold for more in the demo? Did I make that up? I was thinking like they sold for a lot back in the demo, but right now it's looking like each one sells for just two each. Which would give us 72. I mean, that's better than like the seven that I have now. 
I was thinking they sold for a lot, but you know, again, it could have changed since we're playing the full release of the game now. I'll, I'll wait to purchase anything else since I've got to come back here anyway tomorrow to purchase like another poppin. So yeah, we'll go home and we'll take care of the rest of our garden. So sadly, I don't think I'm going to be able to adopt any uh, more dinos today, but I didn't really see any rare ones today anyway, so it's not like a huge deal. Oh, and I did just find a stone there. That's nice. The economy got an overhaul in a recent update. Also, Yasmin, nice to see you. Just so you know, you can water on... You can water on no stamina? You just, you just collapse every time. Oh no. <laughs> Well, I mean, that, that's good that I can still water, I guess. I don't have to use up a, a pop-in. So potentially we still could adopt a critter, possibly, possibly so. Let's put that to the test. All right, I'm officially at no stamina. All right, she just had to like sit down for a little bit. All right, just sitting down again. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I'm gonna need to go get some more water soon. <laughs> you poor thing. She's like, please, let's just let me sleep. <laughs> oh boy. I feel like this is so cheesy, but I, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to waste a poppin, so that's good. That's good. I probably won't push it further by, like, planting the additional seeds that I have right now. I don't know if I could even use the hoe at the moment. It's letting me use the watering can, which is great, but I don't know if it would work the same for for the, the, the hoe. Yeah. All right, we got everything watered. It took a minute, but we did it. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'll put those in there, this in there too, these as well. And, ooh. I'm not sure, ooh. Uh, hmm. Trying to think what kind of like food we could give to the Styracosaurus. I don't know if crunchy will work on it. It might, it might work on it. Um, in which case it's crunchy, so it would probably like carrots as a snack. At least hopefully that's, that's the plan at least. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that strat. All right. We are going back out and we are going to see if we can adopt a dinosaur after all today. I miss music. Welcome in. This game looks so cute. It is stinking adorable. The uh, full release of the game comes out for everybody in two weeks. So I highly, highly recommend it when it does. And there's also a dreamstone here that I somehow missed because I know I've been over to this area before. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, which Styracosaurus are we going for? Sadly, it didn't look like there were any rare ones out today. I love their call. So cute. Hmm. Let's go for this one over here. It's all by its lonesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so, get you. Get your attention. Does that work? Let's try that one more time. There we go. Now we've got your attention. All right, so we already know your friend call, which is that, this, and that. Hello. <laughs> the other one's like, oh, shiny. 
All right, we need to definitely do a, a fair bit of feeding here. Hopefully you'll like the carrots. I have a feeling you will. It's crunchy. Good. Good. Okay, all right, let's do that again. We're trying to get it in the green on the the bar down there. Preferably like the like the the really like the darker green. The one in the middle, and it's exactly in the middle right now. Let's go. Alright. The friending with a crunchy poppin, which should work because you like carrots. Carrots, I think, are also juicy though, so it could be a juicy poppin. Do you like it? No, it doesn't like the crunchy one. Oh, I, oh, Styracosaurus is sure are stubborn. Maybe a different flavor of poppin would help. Uh, so I, I think, you know, that's good that that happened because I think it triggered like a quest with, um, with uh, Pippin. So when we see her next, we should be able to maybe get some new poppin' flavors from her. I hate that I wasted two carrots, but it's okay. Not a huge deal. Let's put away that little dreamstone there. I'm gonna put away those carrots. Uh, we got some more herbivore food, which I'll put in the trowels. And then, is Wade actually going to sleep tonight? What? That never happens. <laughs> I usually just let myself pass out. All right, that's going in there. And then going to say goodnight to our precious dinosaurs. And we are going to uh, save for one. And get some sleepies. Gosh, guys, do you see what I see over um to the to the left there? Pistachio is now a helper. Pistachio, trust us. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, we don't the 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 actual day where I get pistachio to to trust me, um, and where pistachio will be able to water stuff. I don't need a water because because rain. <laughs> All right, let's grab this saddle over here, even though I've gotten a few from Quest. We'll grab this and... Here we go, saddle up. Get a dino to trust you enough to ride them. Got another achievement. I'm curious, I haven't looked how many achievements there are in this game. There are, oh wow, more than I was thinking. 46 achievements, my friends. So I have five of the 46. We're at 10% of the way. Oh, can't wait to, to get them all. Pistachio can now help you water crops. Approach the pond while mounted and press that to fill up with water. I, I mean, I don't really need to do this today. Um, so like, I, I hope I don't have to like use up my stamina on it. Cause again, you know, um, rain, but we'll fill up. Yeah, it does look like I have to spray the crop, sadly. All right, okay. Um, let's just go ahead and do that, I guess. Oh, maybe it didn't use up the stamina since it was for the quest. Oh, that's really good. Okay. All right, and we have a bunch of carrots that we need to harvest today. I wish the harvesting didn't use up stamina. Like, I could, I could understand why, like, the tilling and, and the watering needs to, but... I wish the harvesting didn't. Oh boy, I am not lacking on the carrot department, that's for sure. I'm just like honestly wondering if I should, if I should keep them for cooking or if I should sell them, because I really do need some, some moolahs. I need some income. I've been lacking on that lately. 84 more carrots that we harvested up there. So we've got 107 total now in my storage. <laughs> we've also got 10 more potato seeds, so we'll go ahead and plant those too. Is the rain going away? Oh, rain, don't go away. I need you to, oh, I need you to water these crops. Let me hurry up. It might not be going away, it just kind of looks like it is. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Okay. Awesome. And it's all still water. Thank goodness. What was it that I just harvested from here? It was it was carrots. So carrots leave soft soil. But potatoes like firm soil. Yeah, I don't have anything to give me firm soil yet. It'll be interesting when we do come across that. Looks like, I was about to say, it looks like it stopped raining. I honestly can't tell, but oh my gosh, look at that rainbow. You think there's a pot of gold at the end of it, guys? It'd be cool if you could actually follow the end of the rainbow. I would, I would like that. I would be pleased. <laughs> all right, got all of our potatoes planted. Feels good, man. So now let's, hmm, what are we going to do? Let's take a carrot or two. <laughs> um, I'm going to give some love to pistachio here first. And then I'm going to give a carrot to pistachio as a snack for today. We'll put those away in there. Let me get out a clover too that we can give to Lucky as a snack. And we need to get lucky to help us with some more clearing out today because, oh boy, there's a whole lot left there that we need to do. That's for sure. Hi, Lucky. Nice to see you. I wonder if I have the stuff to upgrade that, that dream stone. I'll have to look and see what it is again. So it's wood... Fiber, dandelion, clover. I can go ahead and put in the clover. I just need to get out wood, fiber, and dandelion. I think I have all of that. Can I access my storage from over here? I want to say that I might be able to. Yes. Dandelion. I think that was the last thing. Hey DC, welcome back. Played a few rounds of Phasmophobia. What wasn't really feeling it? So back over, here I am. Glad to have you back. I'm sorry that the the Phasmo rounds weren't uh striking your fancy today. But definitely understand like needing a break from games at some point. I haven't played Phasmophobia in a hot minute. I think they've come out with a few updates since I last did. Alright, here we go. Valley sleeping patch. Do, 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 do. I hope that you'll be a little happier with it, Lucky. It's so fresh. Or Lucky. Pistachio. <laughs> okay, so I don't have any more food to put in there right now. I'm going to go over here to my storage again and drop off those things. We'll also save while we're here, sure. And then let's hop on... Lucky? And we'll do some clearing out. Is that the J Jam Jam? Oh my gosh, what an honor. <laughs> Jam, nice to see you. Thank you so much for the raid. My goodness. Guys, welcome in. Omni Shift. J Jam Jam, of course. Uh, Sip, is am I saying your name right? Welcome in. Um, I'm just gonna say, uh, is oh, is it how do you say it? Um Jo jockey joke <laughs> please tell me how to say it flamingo welcome back pains welcome in happy feet hello hello uh i ivorak i think i've asked this before i hope i said your name right um oh Karenosaurus rex you are in the perfect place we are literally playing a game about dinosaurs <laughs> welcome in guys so glad to have you anyone who's new here hi my name's wade I love playing cozy games, games that take you on an adventure. Lately, I've been playing a lot of Palea here on stream, but today we have early access to an upcoming game called Paleo Pines. Um, and it's a cozy like farming sim, life sim, that involves adopting precious dinosaurs. So we're glad to have you along for our adventure here. Jim, how was your stream? What were you up to? Almost, tell me how to say it. It's gonna bother me. <laughs> Also, uh, mod friends, I'm assuming Rochelle there. Thank you so much for doing that shout out for J Jam Jim. I know some of you guys in here uh, probably know our friend Jim. 
he is like so stinking positive like such like good vibes over in that stream uh, we play a lot of similar games too so guys if you have not followed Jim before like do yourself a favor go check out his stream uh, I really don't think you'll be disappointed in the slightest also is it D Darl? Daryl? <laughs> Welcome in too. <laughs> and thanks guys for coming over in that pug raid. That's super thoughtful of you. You uh, pronounce it correct. Heck yeah, Sibs. Glad to have you in here. At least I pronounced one of them right. <laughs> uh, we just tried uh, to befriend Triceratops. Were you playing some Paleo Pines too? Heck yeah. And it failed miserably. So much wasted food. No. Oh, Jim, I'm so sorry. That was like just a moment ago. I tried to befriend a Styracosaurus. And I like gave it like some of my, my beautiful carrots. To be fair, I've got a decent amount of carrots now. So it wasn't a huge deal. But then it was like, oh, this Styracosaurus is picky. You need to like ask uh, somebody, uh, Pippin, about it. And I was like, gosh darn it. So I didn't need to use the carrots after all. <laughs> but what do you do? What do you do? But heck yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to your VOD and uh, watch your your um, starting up some Paleo Pines. Did you, I don't know if you played the demo of it, but I wasn't sure if you had continued a demo playthrough with this game or if you started fresh. For me, I played uh, a heck ton of the demo, but I decided to start fresh, and yeah, I'm really enjoying getting back into it. Yeah. I pulled you up a bit ago and had to lurk. I... Holy moly! Uh, I. Give me one second, guys. Um. <laughs> So I, I knew it was getting like darker out, hence why like my lights are like blinding me right now. Hang on, speaking of lights, I'm gonna see about turning this one. Shouldn't be where it doesn't blind me so much. Um, I knew it was like getting darker outside, but just now I heard like the longest rumble of, of thunder like I have ever heard. It was just like, brrr, like for like a solid like 10 seconds. I was like, goodness gracious. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna uh, storm tonight, which I also have to be a, a bit careful about because um, whenever it storms, my power tends to go out. Um, let me look at the radar right now, see how we're looking. I wasn't gonna stream like a huge amount longer anyway, but I did want to get like a little bit more in. Uh, a strong thunderstorm will impact your area. Oh boy. Yeah, I can tell. Heavy rain and thunderstorm for at least the next hour. That, that, that was that was like some really like loud and 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 long thunder. Uh, right when our raider friends are coming in too. I want to continue streaming. Guys, they, like, it's it's thundering really bad out there. <laughs> Your share does not really... Oh, that, that's what it is. It's my stomach. <laughs> oh. Um. No problem. Uh, Danish word is not good for English speaking. Full aware of the problem in the uh, pronunciation. Just happy to uh, get to say hello and welcome, of course. So glad to have you in here. Um, if... Like, if I can say, like, like fi Firen better, like, I, I can try that. Or Denmark. I, I think I can say that one okay. <laughs> we played the demo a while back. Yep. Yeah. It started fresh today. Heck yeah, Jim. Yeah, that was the same for me, too. I was just like, I want to be able to experience everything, like, in full from, you know, now how, how they intend the full game to be. So I'm glad I did. I hope you're enjoying it, too. We only did one stream of the demo. Oh man, I, I bet it was a good stream then since you're returning to the full game. For me with the demo, I put more time into the the demo than I've put into any demo ever. I put like 25 hours into the demo. <laughs> it was just so good. I could not put it down. I could not put it down. I'm just like saving a lot right now in case power does go out, friends. And if it does go out, um, you'll know it, it's because of... Uh, because of the, the, the storm. 
So yeah, thank you uh, in advance for your understanding there. All right, um, what was I going to do? I'm, tr I'm trying to even think. Um, I think we cleared out everything that we could with, with Lucky just now. I, I don't think we harvested up any potatoes because I've got a few people that want potatoes. I need to talk to Pippin about the quest that we picked up yesterday from trying to adopt a Styracosaurus. So yeah, let's let's go and talk to Pippin. I think that's going to be like one of the first things that we do today. Oh, another quest? Make a dino totally happy. The the uh quest. The achievement was called I love you. Oh. Who was it? Who did I make happy? It was pistachio. Oh, got a full ring there. So precious. So precious. I was looking around at these little dinosaurs and seeing if I saw any rare colors. I'm not as uh, familiar with the, like these small ones, but I feel like I've seen these colors a lot. But I do need to like do some research on them regardless. I gotta love it when it rumbles like a stomach the day after Taco Bell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, and Marlo. We need to talk to Marlo too. Hey there, Wade. How can I help? Hey, did you happen to find 10 stone for me? Oh, apparently I did. Wow, thanks so much. New tools will really help me out around here. I really owe you one. The thunder is not stopping. Which reminds me, take these. It's stock I can easily replenish thanks to your help. I was asking for a friend. If, if I needed to, like, you know, save periodically in case power goes out, can I do that from here, or do I have to go back home for that? I think I have to go back home for that, which is sucky. So I really don't want to lose progress. The poppins are particularly crunchy today. Can I tempt you? Uh, I need something other than a crunchy poppin, actually. What do you mean, not exactly? Is there something wrong with my poppins? What could be better? Uh, another flavor, perhaps? Flavor? Flavor? The recipe for the poppin has been in my family for generations. To change the recipe would be to laugh in the face of tradition and family values. Coraline, hey Coraline, don't you think my poppins taste great exactly as they are? Honestly, not really, no. <laughs> Fine. I can't believe I'm saying this, but what do you think would make them better? A uh, juicy poppin? Juicy? I know you're new here, and I don't mean to be rude, but that's a terrible idea. In fact, I'll prove it. You find me some strawberries or carrots. Do I still have those carrots on me? And I'll whip you up a batch of juicy poppins for you. I'll get you some. Nothing, nothing with you? Well, that's probably for the best. Why alter perfection? I, I thought I did have some, but I, I must have put them away. Yeah, I must have put them away. All right, okay. So we'll have to get some carrots for her. Oh, but first, we do have another... Oh, hello. That was like really close camera. <laughs> we have another quest over here with Agami. Eh? Oh, sorry. My head was miles away. What can I get you? Just the person I was hoping to run into. The other day, I promised Mary I'd whip up a classic recipe. A potato, carrot, and spring onion stew. Only I'm out of potatoes and carrots and spring onions. Okay, to tell the truth, I was thinking about something else when I made the promise. Anyway, I'm going to need you to wrestle up all of those for me. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I knew I could count on you. Run and grab those, get back to here quick. Sharp if you know what's good for you. I, I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer on potatoes. I don't think those are ready yet. How long do the potatoes take to grow? They take, do they take nine days to grow? Goodness gracious, no wonder they're not ready yet. Cause yeah, the carrots take three days. I hear the rain outside, it is pouring right now. Spring onions take five. All right, cool beans, cool beans. 
Um, so yeah, it seems like most of the stuff that, um, or what I need to proceed, especially with that Pippin quest, is carrots. So I think we'll, we'll probably go back home and grab those. They changed stuff recently in the demo, said there was some differences between demo and full game, so restarting makes total sense. Yeah, I'm definitely like glad that I did, and just to get, you know, like a full experience of like how they like actually intended it to be. And that way, you know, if like I started up like a, you know, continued a demo playthrough, it wouldn't be like, oh, well, you know, this doesn't make much sense because like, you know, I've done, you know, such and such up to this point. I don't know if that would happen, but you know, just in case. Okay, so I need carrots for, um, for Poppin? Pippin. <laughs> one of the names. I've also got one carrot seed here too, so I'll plant that before we do anything. Let me take my hoe here. We'll till that. Plant you. And let me go over here and save. 